nice one. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Omega Dawn, our uh, Star Frontiers Alpha Hawks um, campaign. Um, um, obviously, hard. Uh, obviously, we need to work on the health around here. <laughs> um, everyone's here today, except for um, uh, Doc Perro. Uh, Doc Perro is being played by uh, Theresa's player. Um, and uh, unfortunately, Jazz is going to be a little bit late as well. So at the moment, Jazz is being looked after by somebody. I've forgotten. It doesn't matter. Um, when we left our intrepid team last week, they were heading up into the mountains, uh, into the thin air part of the mountains, uh, to the sanatorium, uh, which they have suspicions of being... Um, Something, I don't know what, yeah, something like that. There's, there's, there's one, some reason they're going up there. I forgot why they're going up there. Anyone want to fill me in? I can't remember. Not good, very bad. Yeah, okay. Not good, very bad. That'll do. Um, so, yeah. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, 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 yeah. Um, I don't know what else I can tell you. Um, they're in a... Exp they're in a, in an explorer, um, and uh, they have just camped. If I remember, serves me correctly. They have just camped for the night, uh, not too far from the last lookout, which is still with breathable atmosphere. Um, is that how people remember things? Oh yeah, that's right. We just. Well, and we're camping right outside of the line of sight of the. No, 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 no. no we're no, not no. there yet. We're not there be, yet. That must be, no, no, that was what you were planning on camping the next night when you get up there. Okay. Um, so yeah, so that's what's happening there. Um, I don't know what else I can say to you guys. Um, yeah. Um, um. 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 <laughs> So, um, so you guys want to break camp uh, and set off in the Explorer again, I'm assuming. Um, you're either going to have to button up completely because the oxygen is getting very low. I can't... Didn't we have a map last week? Where's, where's the map got to? I don't know. I can reload it. Hang on a sec. Sorry, guys. Um, do you guys want to button up because um, the air's getting really low? Or if someone's going to hang out the top, um, then everybody's going to have to wear um, uh, breathing equipment. No, uh, I think we have to button up. I don't think we have enough uh, breathing tanks. Yeah, I thought to button up. Got, I thought everyone grabbed one. Yeah, but okay, they're only for like fine. 10 hours a piece. Yeah, that's true. I, I only have true. two that are in the Explorer for me, so. Uh-huh. Yeah, Though I found a way to circumvent right. the uh, the ban on explosives. Explosive grappling head. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so, mate. Damn. Oh, dear. Um, I'm just trying to... What have I done with this damn map? I had it last week. What did I do with it? I'm sure we had a map. I'm sure I had a map for you last week. Yeah, it's not in the list today. No, I know. I don't know what's happened to it. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking for my originals. Uh, my original maps. Hang on a sec. Where are my original original maps? Even my original map's gone walkabout. Now, where's that? What the hell's going on? Sorry, gentlemen. And people watching. Where's Gozov City? Wow, that's really... Well, we think they might be planning to blow up the heads of a lot of rocks. Ah. 
Ah ha ha, here we go. Sorry, just found my um found my found my list. Right, so where are we? Uh, da, 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 da. Right, 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 here we go. Um now I've just got to find the right one. There it is. There's the right one. Okay. Right, this is going to be quick and dirty, guys. I'll fix this up for next week, but in the meantime. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah. So uh, you're uh, you 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 need to uh, um, um, give me a sec. Yeah. Right. Sorry. Just getting that red, that, that prepped. Um, You guys, there it is. Um, yeah, so you're travelling. Uh, so I need you to make me uh, sorry. Mm, right. So you're buttoning, buttoning up your head and heading up into the mountains. Yes. Yep. Yep. All right. Okay. Um, I'll need you to make me a uh, a driving test, please. Whoever's driving. Not me. Okay. Apparently that's me. You're better at it. Yes. I am. Because the road, while the road is the road is um, is uh, 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 it is a road. It's it, it's it's not a paved road, um, but it's um, it is a road. It's just some of the corners are rather short. Um, um, I'm assuming that that map's not supposed to be blank. Uh, no, that map is supposed to be blank. Oh, okay, excellent. I'm just moment. having flashbacks from my old shitty internet connection. <laughs> no, 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 no. It is actually supposed to be blank. Um, it's actually that's actually I've just ripped. I just grabbed the the original page of maps. There's actually about six or seven maps on that one page, and I'll unmask each one as as and when required. Okay. Um, so does that make sense? I hope that makes sense to people. Um, so. Yep. Um, so uh, you travel um, most of the um, morning without too much uh, trouble. Um, the weather's not too bad. It's slightly overcast, but generally uh, patches of sunlight break through every now and then. Um, and you know, so um, it's generally a, a pretty a pretty pleasant day. Um, obviously, the uh, there's less and less atmosphere to um, keep the uh, to diffuse the the, the, sh the the view so the view is nice and sharp okay um, in that regard so uh, so yes um, Sorry, just reading something. Okay, um, so um, as I said, you are up on your mountains. Um, uh, so you know you've got cliff on one side going up and cliff on the other side going down. Anyway, you come around about. It, it, you, you you're just thinking about starting to get hungry for lunch um, when you come around um, a, a corner. It's a left-hand corner, uh, so um, you know cliff on the right going down if you want to fall off it. 
Um, the road is, um, the road's, um, it's wide enough for the Explorer plus a little bit. You'd probably get um, two, two, uh, two, ca two ground cars uh, past each other, but the Explorer's being a bit wider for stability. You wouldn't be able to get two Explorers past. Anyway, so you ca as you come around the corner, um, um, Cerise, you um, see, uh, and anyone else looking out the front window, um, you see um, not too far off uh, uh, another Explorer um, uh, in, uh, on the trail facing you. Uh, to the left of that Explorer and to the right of that Explorer are um, two figures each um, uh, armed with weapons. And out at the top of the Explorer, there's um, a guy with a, uh, a, a rocket launcher on his shoulder. As you come around the, f around the corner, he fires. Ow. At you. It's about time you gave us some heavy weapons to use. Yeah, but we got to get them from their cold, dead bodies first. Yeah, Matt oh, has a habit of bodies. blowing himself up with heavy weapons. Yes, anyway. Um, so, uh, what? hang on, guys. There you go. Don't ask me how you managed to take a recoilless rifle, point it straight up, and shoot yourself. Um, so the, the, uh, the rocket um, actually um, ends up striking um, the, uh, your explorer, um, which is going to do some damage to you, obviously. Right, hang on a sec. I've been waiting a long time to hit something. <laughs> yes, well, let's hope you survive long enough to do it. God, I hate when it does that. So um, the rocket. Sorry, I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit behind the curve today. I don't know why. Oh, good. No, it's not. I should be better at this. I should be more on the ball. I don't know why I'm so off the off my game. Wow, really? Okay. Um, so uh, as I said, uh, the, uh, the the rocket does strike the Explorer. Um, uh, does not seem to be any immediate immediate damage to it. Okay. Um, uh, Cerise, you can madly see uh, the uh, the the uh, rocket guy um, a reloader reloading the rocket. Okay. Um, at this point. Um, now, be honest, who would have been looking out the front windscreen? Whoever was riding shotgun. Yeah. I, you could roll for it as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I think well, I'm, I'm just I'm, stacked I'm, out in the back. Uh, well, let's be honest here. If you're stacked out in the back, or the first you know about this is the, um, is the, the, the rocket striking the uh, Explorer and, and, and going off and shaking the Explorer. So... If you weren't looking out the front, then basically I'll need a um, uh, effectively a surprise roll. Um, so uh, basically, um, a reaction boat could have been there speed. just in case Cerise falls asleep at the wheel, since you know right, boat can a, also right drive. Thing. But yeah, I mean, somebody I would assume somebody would be there. So who wants? Someone would be there. So Jazz might be there, Cat, Boat, yeah. or Babu. Jazz would probably be a good one if we, he has any type of range. He knows something's up there. Yeah, Jazz is probably the best one in this re in this in that regard. Okay, so then uh, you so, put Jazz there. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, well, you need to take that number off your Babs. You need to take that that off your. Um, I'm assuming the first one's you and the second one's Jazz. Yeah. Second yeah. one's Doc. Second one's Doc. 
Uh, second one's Doc. Oh, Doc's basically surprised. Uh, no, not surprised. He's fine. Yeah. Um, I Babs, don't you know why I can't change to his character, though. You just click on the portrait. It should be fine. I, I, yeah, it doesn't do it. Doesn't it? It does have it for me with got... Jazz. Yeah. I give him a different go. dice color so I know who's active. Good way yeah, to it. his is black. Yep, you have him active now. You can tell by uh, who's bold, which name's in bold. Docs or Babu. My dice are still yellow. Type in chat. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder what's going on, because it's working for us and not for everyone else. There you go. See, for us, you're still... Yellow dice still, huh? Yeah. yeah, doesn't. I'm not sure why that's happened. Don't know. Very unusual. Well, he he, he passed both of them, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's okay. Um, uh, Ben, can you give me a can you give me a, 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 a reaction speed check, please, mate? Thank you. So it looks like the only one who wasn't who, who wasn't react he didn't react very well was uh, Babu. Uh, yeah, missed about one. That's not bad. <laughs> You still miss what do it. I need to do now? Uh, you need to uh, uh, miss a, miss this action, mate. Sorry. Um, so if you guys would be so kind as to give me initiative rolls, that would be fantastic. Except for you, Babu. Uh, and don't forget, your the, the 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 explorer is still moving at this point in time. So nine for Vogue. and eight for. And of course, those who aren't looking at the front still don't know what's going on. Eight for Cerise. Uh, Eleven for the Doc. I don't know about Doc, but I know oh, all the rest of us know we've been hit. Well, you've hit by something, so you don't know what's going on. Jazz and Birdie. AK-47, for the <laughs> weapon of your enemy. It makes a very distinctive sound when shot at you. Yes, it does. It, doesn't, it makes a very distinctive sound. Okay. So um, I'll put these up on the combat tracker. Okay. So um, they're all human, is what you can see, Cerise. Um, Five of them, right? Six, actually. Two on each side and one on the top? Plus the loader. Ah. Uh, so, uh, um, most of them have laser uh, have um, laser pistols. Um, uh, five's got an automatic rifle. Uh, is what you can see. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, and uh, um. It's number five uh, is also on the rocket launcher, just so you know. Um, so uh, let's get this guy show on the road. Um, number one's going to hold. Two's going to hold. Three's going to hold. Four's going to hold. And five's going to shoot you with the rocket launcher again. Didn't he just shoot? He shoot. Yeah, new round. Okay. So he has someone reloading uh, and, for him, and it goes it goes wildly wild. Wild the rocket goes wildly far off, does you know completely off the thing, uh, and the commander is going to uh, to help reload for the rocket. Jazz, you're up. How what's the range? Uh, the range uh, you're looking at at the moment you're looking at about um, seventy two meters. And how what's our speed? 
Uh, you're currently um, going small because uh, uh, it's uh, it's it's um, um, uh, uh, thing half cruising is what you're doing at the moment. Which is how many meters per turn? Oh, hang on. Now you, you want me to look it up, don't you? You bastard. <laughs> Uh, where is it? Where's the vehicle speeds? Explorer. Um, so you're, going, you're only going about 25 kilometers an hour, which is only about um, um, 18 mile, I think it is from memory, if my, if my mental math is correct. 25 kilometers an hour is about 7 meters a second. Yep, that's described it then. Uh, and six second turns? Uh, more or less, yeah. So we'll no, get 20, close about no, no, half no, no. We're, 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 Sorry, 25 kilometers an hour is about 40 meters a turn. Okay. And uh, you said that they were all, except for the heavy rocket, they were all carrying lasers? Laser pistols, yeah. So yeah, jazz an automatic system. rifle, though. And they appeared to be set with, oh, except for number one's got a gyrojet pistol, uh, but they all appear to be in um, um, military clothing. So probably means military skin suits. Okay, so Jazz will shout out uh, six enemies, paramilitary, mostly lasers, and then he's going to flip on his screen and uh, pull out his pistols, and he's making sure his seatbelt's tight for the moment. Okay, that's Jazz. Yep. So end your turn when you're ready. Cat. You've just heard enemy up front, basically. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I guess I would be switching on my breathing apparatus to, uh, in preparation that we might need to get out. Uh, but I would have heard a rocket, right? You yeah. heard a rocket explosion, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll do that uh, and get armed uh, and then kind of wait because Cat's never the first one to jump out a door. <laughs> Not especially when you're moving at 25 kilometers an hour. Yeah. All right, entertain when you're ready, please. Doc? Wondering why I was getting that. Anybody hurt? Everybody's Not okay yet. after that hit? So far. Um, probably, as long as I'm in a protected position here, uh, hold on, if he has any screens or anything like that, he'll flip them on as well as making sure his uh, mask is in place. Right. Uh, do you have any screens in that? I don't think you do, do you? Uh, I think Doc does have a screen. He's got a hollow screen. Yeah, hollow screen. He doesn't have an albedo or inertia? No, he's got a hollow screen and a skin suit, looks like. Yep, looks like skin suit. Which he would be, which he would yeah. be wearing. Yes. The hollow screen, so he, and the hollow screen's obviously so he blends into the background so he doesn't get a target. So, yeah. Well, if he's sitting Web's like in the middle of the back seat, he might put it up between the two seats and turn it on just to make it look like there's nothing there so we don't actually, you know, purposely try to shoot there. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put it in team. I'll put it in team speak, okay? Sure, thanks. All right. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah, I'm getting a privacy error. Your connection is not private. I try to go to the website for some reason. Ah. Uh, Just okay. do it, Vance. Yeah. Just do it. It's probably it's probably because the bloody... Um, Certificates playing up again. I was getting some messages about that about a week ago. I don't know. I thought I'd had it. I thought I'd fixed it, but obviously not. Okay. So what I was going to look up was um, deceleration. How quickly I can oh. decelerate. Oh, that depends on the vehicle. Um, and for an Explorer, you can decel 40 meters a turn. Okay. You can actually decelerate faster than that. You can come to a complete stop if you really want, but you're going to have to make rolls. You could skid, and you're on a mountain tra mountain road. Nope, I'm good. 
<laughs> just thought I'd mention all that. I mean, we could, you could run them through. Uh, well, on an ex ex explorer versus explorer. Yeah. Well, some of them are outside. Roadkill. Yeah, yeah, anyway. uh, yeah, I don't think you fit the explorer term. Anyway, uh, Vogue, what are you doing? Uh, well, I, I don't know if I would have my breathing apparatus on already since it's kind of a bag. And, you know, kind of be awkward to get into. So I'd assume I would have it on already. On, on but open, maybe. Yeah, I'll hop in to my bag and I will uh, turn on my albedo screen and get out my pistol. Okay. And when you're ready, end your turn, please. Cerise. Uh, turn on my screen and keep driving. Keep driving. Okay. All right. End your turn when you're ready. And I'll get initiatives off everybody once you've done that. Sorry, Babs. So initiatives off everybody, please. And yes, Babu, you are now able to act. Except the vehicle's still moving. Except the vehicle's still moving. Uh, um, and one for... Who's, who, who hasn't gone? Who hasn't I got? No, no, eight, nine, seven, nine... You got everybody. We got no, six players, six people. Yeah, oh, six rolls. I recorded. Who didn't I record? Oh, uh, mine was the same as last round. Yeah, the docks, that's what I haven't got. That's bad. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have the Babu tag in front of it. Hmm. That's annoying. Did you finally that's roll that. one? No. Look close enough to it. Right, so, Cat, you're up. What do you want to do, including holding if necessary? Yeah, I'll hold. Uh, given that nothing has actually changed since last time. Well, yes, you've, you're now you're now um, about 160 me 160 meters from them, not for, not the 200 or so that you were. Oh, Babu? I thought we were 70 meters from them. Oh, 70 meters. Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, you'd be no. Well, at 40 meters a turn, you'd be 60 meters from them. Sorry, you're now 60 meters from them. Babu. Weren't we 70, 70 okay, so meters my moving first turn. No, you're, oh. you're, you're, no, you're roughly 100 meters from them. Oh, okay, okay. I will play catch up and I will turn my albedo screen on and mm -hmm. get in my suit mm -hmm. and ready the force axe. But I will make sure my seatbelt is on. <laughs> All right, that's a very complicated set of actions, but okay. Voke. Uh, I'll make sure my seatbelt is on, and I will grab, uh, I'll take out my sonic sword. As, okay. Uh, okay, one holds, two holds, three holds, four holds, five fires. Let's see if I can do some damage to you guys this time. Yeah, that's definitely a hit, especially at that range. Oh, that's hard to do damage to, do damage to a vehicle. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> What's going to happen to you guys? We're going to run you through. I'm going to get some roadkill, turn back around, do it again, and then finish them off. Just like uh, in video games, okay. right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the, rocket strikes, the rocket strikes the, um, the rocket strikes your explorer. And again, does not 
here. To do any damage. Now it might help if I pulled up my combat. Um, okay, hang on, sorry. Oh, by the way, there's the rocket hitting. <laughs> nice. Wait. Thank you. Um, what are you guys going? What do you? Uh, yeah, that was rock and the commander reloads. Jazz, you're up. So Jazz will turn on his breathing, and um, yeah, he's just going to get ready to get out, be armed, and get out when it's time. So to make sure we're 60 meters away, we're moving 40 meters a turn. So next, at the end of this turn, we'll be 20 meters away. And then if I break next turn, that'll bring us to a stop at roughly zero meters away, right? You'd have to break harder than 40 meters a turn, though. Oh, no, you're only going 40 meters a turn. So, yeah, yeah basically, if you want to. So I figure half distance. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Then that's the plan for now. I'll... Um, All right. I think I turned on my screen last time. I'll turn on my, put on my gas, or my breathing this time. Okay. Doc, what do you know? Everything is set. I'm secure in my seat and probably I'll pair myself with whatever the most important uh, or most often used first aid. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. That's the end of the turn. Can I get issues of everybody, please? Probably the really big unless, needle. Oh, sorry, Cat, unless you wanted to do something because you held. Uh, no, uh, but I guess I haven't said it out loud, so I'll turn my screen on as well. Yeah, okay. Jazz at 10. I think we're all stoked to get out there and mess it up. Babu. Yeah, I hope you guys agree that uh, melee is the best course of action. Why well, I'd rather you... not have my bubble get popped. Because that would be very bad for me. Only if it's ace weapons. That's right. You can always rep you know, there's always a chance of repairing them sooner or later. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, Doc, you're up. All folk, either one. You both go same at the same time. Doc will hold. I'll hold. Therese? Coming to a stop, get ready to bail. So um, I will come to a stop just short, you know, a meter from them, but I'm going to veer to my right so that Jazz is protected. When he gets out, you know what I mean? Like a 30 degree turn so that he can take cover behind his door. All right, I got gotcha. you. Okay. And then be on the, be on the, that side of their vehicle. Right, that'll put, that, that will put you right on the cliff edge. You realize that, don't you? Yeah, that'll put me right there. Yep. Okay. Just making sure you're aware. Um, okay. Um, as you hit the brakes to, to come to a stop, um, you realize that the Explorer has taken um, brake damage. Oops. I will need a driving test, please. Ramming speed. Okay. Um, you, you do, the, 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 the deceleration uh, rating of the Explorer has, dro has dropped to half. Uh, you, you only want to stop in 20 meters, so that's okay. Um, you, um, you, you you are successful in stopping before going over the cliff, although, if truth be told, you probably need a change of trousers. <laughs> okay. Um, now, Doc sure and Bogue worried. both. <laughs> Doc and Bogue were both had both uh, both held. 
um, do you want to, what do you want to do, you two? Do you want to do, because you need to let me know before we move on to Cat. Uh, so we're at a complete stop then? We are. Are the back doors facing them? No, no. the back doors facing, uh, facing basically away from them too, but no, I mean, you know, the, 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 the explorer is on about a 30 degree angle to the right. So yes. obviously you'd, you'd bail out the back and go around the left because, yeah. Uh, so is that what you're doing? You're, are you yeah, if, back if, doors? yeah, I'll open the back door. As long as they can't shoot into the back, I'll hop out. No, they can't, no. Okay, right, so I'll hop out, out the back. door. Open the back door. Right, so doors jump, so uh, getting the door open and jumping down basically takes up all your actions, okay? Okay. Doc, what are you doing at the same, at, at practically the same time? Uh, Doc, basically, the aim, he's not going anywhere. He's just waiting for somebody to get injured or... All right, okay. The yep, need to okay. unass the uh, vehicle due to catastrophic kill coming in. Yeah, okay. Cat, so the back door's open and uh, uh, votes just jump down. What are you doing? Uh, I will jump down as well, uh, obviously armed with my, oh, we only have our pistols, shit. Uh, I'll have my auto pistol and my sonic sword. Okay, are you moving to engage? Are you t poking your head around the side and taking a pot shot at somebody, or what are you, what's the story? Um, I would probably be looking for cover. Uh, and getting a lay of the land before I Leroy Jenkins out okay. into a battlefield. All right, well, give me a quick search roll then, please. Just to have a look, see around. Yeah, okay. Um, there isn't much cover apart from uh, apart from your own explorer. Um, you could you could lean around the side. You could crouch down behind some of the tires because you aren't on on that thirty degree angle. And of course, the Explorer wheels are outside the, you know, like the, you know, they're like a, a the Mars Rover. They're they're spread wide, or a, or a monster truck if you prefer the prefer the image. So that's about it, though. Um, basically, all you can see, all you can see from where you are at the moment, if you if you have a quick glance around, is the Explorer, the guy with the rocket launcher on top of the Explorer, and the two guys over t on the um, uh, to the to the left hand side of the explorer as you're looking at it which is guys uh one and two um uh, one's uh, one's got as i said one had the um um gyro jet pistol and two's got a laser pistol yeah okay and they're both they're both dressed in um military military cams so probably skin suits so is that cool. all you want to do yep oh, well, right. can i and can i can i uh squeeze off a burst at them you can squeeze off a burst at the at the, at the two guys on yeah. the ground. All right, yeah, you can. Uh, you're looking at a rain. They're both prone. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, they were all, they were always prone. I, I if I didn't mention that, I should have. Sorry. Uh, they're both prone. Uh, so it's um, you got the prone the prone penalty. Um, but if, if if it's a burst, um, you're looking at um, explorer is about uh, ten. Five, about five, six meters long. You're at the back, so you're looking at a range of about ten meters, maybe a little bit, maybe yeah. Call it let let let's call it ten meters. Um, so yes, you can squeeze off a burst if you wish. Yeah, uh, and does my uh, does the plus twenty to burst get cancelled out by the prone, or is there still a bonus? Or no, no. The, well, whatever the prone, met, whatever whatever their prone. Um, benefit is i can't remember what is it um i don't know they're all gone from fantasy grounds now so i can't remember yeah anymore. <laughs> i know yeah um hang on a sec i'll find it i've got it i've got the main rule book open here hang on i'll have to put all that back in um guns battle rage defending specialized melee weapons op shots firing two weapons rate of fire prone targets it's only five percent, mate. Hang on, is that right? Yeah, it's only five percent. It's only five percent. Yeah, it's only five percent for being prone. So, 
um, your burst fire would be 15, not 20, if I, b I believe. Is that right? Does that sound right to you? Yes. Go for your life. Uh, projector. Uh, uh. It's 5d10 for the damage. Actually, 6d10 for the damage, divided evenly between the two of them. I almost put a plus 15 on there for a minute. <laughs> and the other way, mate. Well, it's definitely a hit. Was that six? It was. Now, so they, they each take uh, 16 points of damage. Uh, less their skin suits, of course. So eight and skins eight. Right, end your turn when you're ready. Next person's go. Which is yours, Babu? What you doing? Or Jazz? They're both together. But let's do Babu. Uh, I just want to bail out the door closest to them, closest to me. Oh, that would be the rear and, door. And move at the most expeditious rate as I can. What's your most expeditious rate? Running 30 per turn. Yeah, well, you can certainly make make them. As I said, if you come around the, as you come around the side, um, you can see that um, uh, uh, there's two humans both prone on the ground next to the to the left of the, uh, of the far explorer. They're about 10 meters. They're about, each about 10 metres away. You're going to charge one of them, are you? <gasps> yep. Sorry, I got hiccups. Uh, two there are laying on the ground there. What are their weapons? Uh, one's got a gyro jet pistol. The other one's got a laser pistol. All right, I'll take out the gyro jet. So you'll take out the what? The gyro jet pistol. The gyro jet pistol, right, yeah. Oh, and don't forget there's a guy on the roof with a, with a rocket launcher of the far explorer. Yeah, I think I get more bonuses for hitting somebody laying on the ground, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you uh, you get a plus five percent because they are prone, and you're getting them with Mei Lee. Um, um, they're both going to take op opportunity shots as you as you charge them. They would be stupid not to. Yep. Um, so uh, the first one, uh, the guy with a gyrojet pistol, he shoots at you. From effectively point blank range, uh, and misses. Of course, you don't expect a blob to attack you like that. Yeah, and the guy with the laser bet, laser jet again, at effectively point blank range. Um, uh, Sorry. Oh, hit you. Yeah, hit you with the with that with the laser, uh, and the laser is set on uh, three. So you take uh, twenty-two points of laser damage unless you've got something to stop it, like an albedo, like an albedo screen. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and that of so course it's it's uh, one SCU for five points. Five points. Yeah, five SCU. Screen. Yeah, that's correct. Um, and uh, you may swing your axe. Uh, you do get a plus 10% chance to hit as well. So plus 15 total. Uh, 10 for the charge and 5 for them being prone. So that's technically a minus 15. Yeah, minus 15. Sorry. I'm, I've got, yeah, I'm different rules. No, I'm here. just trying to keep up with which game we're in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you and me both. <laughs> Actually, I've got a, I've got three games going at the moment because I'm 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 trying to get the shadow run spun up for, for uh, when we we start playing that. So I'm doing all the shadow run stuff when I'm on the dialysis machine, putting it into the website. So um, cool. I'll be updating I'll be updating some of those pages too today. Actually, I, yeah, I really that. wish you hadn't trolled me with putting up the character creation stuff. You should have just put up the lore and not not kicked off that process in my brain already, Matt. 
You know me, <laughs> and yet you destroyed I know, me. I, <laughs> I know, I know, I know most role. I know most role players. Um, I've got, uh, but just for the for, for the record, I've just I've been working a lot on the um, on the expanded magic rules source book. So there'll be a lot of a lot of the expanded magic rules going in very very soon, just to keep everybody interested. There's lore as well, but it's still it just keeps on coming. Uh, anyway, uh, I so think uh, that was a hit. Yeah, that was a hit, definitely, mate. Uh, you certainly got your hit. So do your damage, please. Uh, Thirty-four points. Uh, to that was with the to the gyrojet you said, or the laser yes. pistol guy. What, yes. The gyrojet guy. That's number one. Thirty-four. Half of that is um, seventeen. So seventeen. Twenty-three, uh, twenty-three. The skin suit. Um, and yep, he's got it up there. Right, uh, Andy Turner, you ready, please? He's uh, he's moderately wounded. Jazz. All right, so Jazz jumps out. Um, how far away is are the nearest guys on the ground? Well, um, Jazz has got actually. Jazz can't see number two because he's, he's effectively blocked by the Far Explorer. Um, and, he's, and he can only partially see number three, but he can definitely see number four. Uh, he can see Baboo's just run up and hacked at number one. And, of course, number five is on top of the Explorer. So, um, yeah, so the guys... He, that's, go on, sorry. That's, that's so, from the open doorway. Of okay, your, so your, the, the guy's on the right side. So he, wa he wants to get out and engage with his sonic sword if he can. Is he in range of that? Oh, he can see, yeah, he's only he's only about five meters away from from number four, and number three's partial got partial cover. So, from the from the from their explorer, so you can certainly run to either one of those, or we'll charge either one of those. Either, you know. All right. So then, yeah, that's he wants to go for the. Uh, did did anybody else go for either of those two? No, three and four are, are currently unengaged and can't be seen by anybody else except for Cerise. Okay, so then number four, he goes out with his sword. Well, okay, are they so armed again, the same? They are. They're both armed with laser pistols. They'll both get opportunity shots at you. Um, and assuming you survive the two opportunity shots, um, they'll um, uh, you'll be able to. Uh, wow, that's a hit. And that's a miss. So you only get, you only get hit with one laser pistol on the way in. Um, for a total of 26 points of damage. Okay, I've got to figure out what he's got defense-wise. Yeah, that's right. You go for your life. And then when you're ready, you can roll me the damage for the Sonic Sword. And I don't know if that was a crit with a five. Yes, it was. And you said 26 laser damage. Yeah, 26 laser damage. You do 19. So he has a screen. 19 to number four. Uh, 19, so 18, 9, and 10 to the skin suit. Oh, Sonic Sword. Doesn't help with a skin suit, does it? Nope. It's 19 damage completely. And I don't know what crits do. Um, a crit with a 5. Um, Doubles the damage? No, it doesn't. It knocks, it's, got, it's got a chance of knocking them out if they can actually knock them out. Um, No, it does. It, it, there's no effect in this case, unfortunately. Um, okay, so uh, when you're ready, uh, end your turn. Um, uh, one scrambles to his feet um, at the same time, takes a wild shot at you, um, Babs. You guys have to remind me to have him rage. Yeah. Um, and misses uh, with his wild shot. Uh, number two um, uh, doesn't so much scramble to his feet, but gets to his feet 
um, uh, and um, hang on, what am I doing here? Oh, wrong one. There we go. Uh, gets to his feet and um, uh, tries to shoot you in the back. Oh, and hits you for a, another 14 points of laser damage. Um, three also gets to his feet and has a go at you, Jazz, uh, but misses. Uh, number four, uh, it's a wild shot for number four, uh, and misses completely. Um, Five uh, puts down the rocket and it come, uh, drags out a, a automatic rifle. And um, the commander um, exits the back of the machine, comes around and uh, prepares to attack. Um, attack you jazz with a vibro knife next round and that's the end of turn so i'll get into shoes off everybody please go cat go You're doing particularly well today, Cat, on the initiatives, aren't you? Oh, you're not going to like this, guys. Okay, number one takes two shots at Babu. Uh, first shot to hit. Second shot to hit. First shot does 18 points of laser damage. Second shot does 19 points of laser damage. Number two shoots twice at Babu. First shot hits. Second shot hits. First shot, whoops, that's what I want. First shot does 17 points of laser damage. Second shot does 20 points of laser damage. Three, number three shoots at Jazz twice. First shot hits, second shot misses, first shot does 13 points of laser damage, uh, four also takes two shots at um, Jazz. Since I'm engaged first in melee, does that mean something? Yeah, I'm taking that into account. Uh, first shot misses. Uh, second shot hits, second shot does 16 points of laser damage. Um, number one can get off a third shot, so he will. 
the Sagara Jet Pistol and does uh, and misses, sorry, no, ignore that, it misses. Um, so that's three and four. Uh, five, uh, five um, readies in action. Uh, and the commander swipes at you, Jazz, with his vibro knife. Wasn't uh, he inside the... No, no, he exited the van last time. As I see, he exited okay. the van last time. Uh, and no, and misses with his vibro knife, which is, an, which is I find, annoying. Cat, you're up. All right. Uh, I guess I can't do another burst without hitting Babu now, can I? No, not without hitting Babu. Sorry, mate. You know, you could probably do an aim shot at number two, and number five still have a valid target too. Don't forget. Yeah. The pistols, are, the automatic weapons, are such a waste of time if you don't burst. Um, huh. I can I if I burst at the guy on top of the uh, thing, will I hit anybody else? I shouldn't. All right, I'll do that. All right. So you lean around the you lean around the side and take a burst at him. He's got partial cover, so minus ten, and you've got partial cover minus ten for you, for the return shot because he was waiting for something like that uh, from you. So um, the, the two shots go off simultaneously and the bullets basically pass each other in midair. Okay. Uh, he hits. You hit. He does 31 points of impact damage and you do 24 points of impact damage. Has he got a gyro jet rifle, does he? No, he's got an automatic rifle. Uh, okay. I, I said cool. he put his yeah, I said he put his rocket down and picked up the automatic rifle. Unless you want to get hit with a rocket, it's up to you. Fifteen D ten or five D ten, your choice. No. No. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I thought you'd say something like that. All right. Hang on, I've got to get the damage down. Uh he did the twenty four and he's got a uh, he does have a skin. He's, no, he doesn't have a skin suit. He takes all. He takes all of it. He's got an albedo suit. Um, by the way, uh, just for your edification, um, the number one skin suit is effectively shredded. Okay. All right. Making progress. And now that you, and now that you're up close, everybody, every every other person's skin suit is um, uh, damaged as well. They're not fresh skin suits, looks like, apart from the civilian one that the that the uh, the the commander is wearing. His is uh, his is okay. Okay. Um, so, uh, if you're taking whatever damage you need to take, Jazz, and all the rest of it, if you finish your turn, move on, please. Oh, you have moved on, Kat. Sorry, Jazz, you're up. No, Jazz, yep. you, was, you wanted to uh, rage? Yep. Nope. Nope. And then um, sword at the same guy. Number four. Oops, sorry. Uh, I'll okay. take the first one, uh, yeah. which is a miss anyway. Um, so, uh, yeah, no, that's a miss with the sword. Doc? Cat, are you all right? Yeah, I got like, uh, 
took 15 points of damage just then. So. She's, she's just standing outside the back of the uh, vehicle, yeah, she's right? Leaning, yeah, leaning around the side of the vehicle along with Voke at the moment. You can certainly you can certainly reach her this turn. You can certainly first aid her this turn if you wish. Yeah, I'll do that with. Uh, right, well, yeah. give it a uh, well I need a, I need a first aid I need a first aid roll. Don't forget to take the fifteen de fifteen points of damage off. Yep, that's still you get ten points back, cat. And that's your turn, Doc. I believe. <gasps> Sorry, got hiccups again. Now, Tabu. how this, Sorry. how initiative works, does that mean that I uh, have to miss my next action, or is it just? No, it's basically, it's it's basically quick. It's, it's basically, you know, it's field repairs in terms of the first aid. You know, it's like a, it's like a band aid slap or a slap boo -boo patch or, or, or slap whatever. A band -aid on the boo -boo yeah, it's like one of those shot. safe, safe injection things. One of those safe, yeah, it's, 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 safe it's, needle. Yeah, so you don't miss, you don't miss it, you don't miss a turn. It's just a quick oh, okay. prick. Because we, we have uh, removed first aid benefits before by somebody acting after getting first aid. Um, yeah, that's just different okay. circumstances. That was yeah, basically moving away, but I mean, moving it, that's moving away, but I mean, moving away before the person uh, yeah, in during the same round. You've already had your action, so. All right. Do I need any modifiers for number one there? Uh, are you more than half damaged? Not even scratched yet. In I'm that like... case, it's a, it's a straight melee attack, which you missed, or he dodged out of the way if you prefer. Voke, you're next, I believe. Now you're still back at the van, looking with Rassi with Cat and the Doc. What are you doing? Yeah, uh, with 25 run, can I charge one of channel. them with my um? Sonic Sword? Am I in range to Sonic Sword, one of the guys? You can charge one. You'll have to charge one, one or two. Two's not engaged. And hello, Thomas. I'll, uh, I'll charge number two. Hello. Okay, give me a second. I'll, I'll just free up your... Um, uh, there you are. Freed up, Jazz. Oh, eh. Sorry, sir. As well, um, as if Babu isn't in the way, I suppose I'll charge one. No, yeah. Well, Babu is. I mean, Matt, you're charging the. You're better off charging two. Trust me. Yeah. Okay. Babu then I'll charge number one. All right, number two. I uh, say so you get a plus ten percent chance to charge number two. And hit two. <laughs> no. No, nope, you missed completely. Uh, end your turn when you're ready. Uh, Cerise, you're still in the driver's seat. All right. The number five is he still in the cupola of the other explorer? He is still poking up the out the top. He has got an automatic rifle, and he has sent a burst down towards um, the back of your the back of your um, uh, your explorer. And you heard uh, you heard Cat take a few grunts as she took a few bullets. All right. So I want to. I'm going to get out. Um, four sacks in one hand, tangler grenade in the other, and I'm going to move up to the side of it and try to toss the tangler grenade into the where number five is. Out the top. Yep. All right. Well, you're going to have to. You'll be getting in. If you go to the left, you'll get into. If it, if you do that, you'll be getting into melee range of the others. Aren't they unless on each end? For, unless unless you go straight for the front of the front of their explorer. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Go straight right, towards okay, number cool. five. All right. So straight number five. You make it. To, you make it. To the, you make it to the front. Um, um, I'm going to impose a, a plus 10 penalty for the movement and throwing the grenade to try and aim for it because you have to get out and do all the other bits and pieces. And obviously you missed. Yep. Um, so I, um, I need you to roll me a, a D8 scatter roll. I think that's right back at me. It is right back at you. Um... Let me. Can I get a reaction speed check off you, please? Okay, you are not successful in avoiding the tangler grenade. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, so the tangler grenade goes off at the front of the uh, enemy explorer, and uh, Cerise is um, in 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 range and is caught in the tangler grenade. 
I um, bounced it off the side rather than dropped it in the top. Yeah, pretty much, mate. Sorry about that. That's your fault. Um, end your turn, and we'll get initiatives. Um, Jazz, just to catch you up real quick, um, you came down the corner and got ambushed by uh, six guys in, uh, in an Explorer with a rocket launcher and a whole bunch of stuff. Um, Babu, uh, Babu and Vogue have both charged forward uh, on the, the left side of the Explorer and engaged in May Lee. Um, you charged forward and did not rage on the right side to engage the two guys on the right side uh, and the commander's there as well. Um, okay. Is everybody, everybody up to speed? And there's no map here, sorry. So Doc got a nine. Uh, Babs got a ten. Actually, you might want to share the map you did just so he gets it uploaded. Yeah, I'll get. I'll. I'll. I'll um. I'll do that. It's blank, but that's okay. Um, where was I? Um, Babs got a 10, Vote got a 6. Uh, Jazz got a 13. Uh, and Reese got a 12. Have you rolled, Cat? has now thank you 11 for cat is that everybody it is except for the bad guys all right so bad guys go first number one um again takes Takes three shots at Babu with his gyrojet pistol. First one hits. Second one, no, 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 no. You just hits. And the third one misses completely. Um, Uh, so, um, the first shot does um, 13 points and the second shot does 7 points. Yep. That's on Babu. That's on Babu. Uh, two, uh, that's one. Number two uh, is uh, having laser pistol shots at... Um, Voke, and the first one misses, and the second one also misses. Uh, number three is going after Jazz with two laser pistol shots. First one misses, second one hits, second one does 23 points of laser damage. Uh, number okay. four, sorry, go on. Go. Oh, just saying, okay. Oh, uh, number four also takes two laser pistol shots at you, Jazz. Both miss. Um, and what's else? Uh, number five holds and readies in action. And the commander. Vibro knife on Jazz misses and Vibro knife. Jazz, you're up. All right. Um, yeah, so continue swinging the sonic sword at uh, uh, who was you Jazz swinging at before number four? You were attacking number four, yeah. All right, let's continue that. Well, it's a hit. Yay. 36 points to number four. No skin suits. Ooh. Well, it's skin suits, but they're not working because, you know, this guy does Sonic. Have... <laughs> uh, number four, does that enough to take him out? 
No, it's not. He is heavily wounded, though, number four. Okay, end your turn when you're ready. And I believe Cerise, you, what are you doing? Can I reach my own solve away? Um, give me an average of your strength and your dexterity, please. Oh, no. Um, and I'll also yell out for Doc, Br bring the solve away. Let's see. My strength is 35. My dex is 69. So that's 104. So that's 52. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. Sorry, mate. Nope. End your turn when you're ready. Cat, I believe you're up. What are you doing? Mm. Trying to think whether I would have any solve away. Uh, it'd It'll be in your in inventory. It does. I just know it comes in a kit, doesn't it? Uh, no, it comes separately. Ah, uh, okay. Then I wouldn't have any. All right. Uh, so I can't help Ceres. So uh, I am reloading. Okay, reloading. Not a worry. End your turn when you're ready. Babs? That's a swing. That's a hit. Damage. No skin suit to worry about. 25. Okay, he's also heavily wounded. Now, now when you're ready, end your turn. Doc. I can't find any Cerise. But Doc's that crazy type of guy that runs into fire, right? Yeah, yeah, to to to, to help people's to help people out, but so um, technically he'll try to get damage. Cerise anyway to see if he can get if she has one, he can get it. I bet there's only two people that have solve away. So right. sorry, are you running? Are you running forward? Are you, Doc? Running towards Cerise, yes. All right. Um, f uh, number five. Number five opens up on a burst on the dock. Uh, as you run, as you run forward, uh, oh, for God's sake, and misses. Um, you get to the edge of the tangle of grenade. You're going to have to enter the tangle of grenade to get to Cerise. And what does that say? Well, it's going to be um, it's, it's going to be a, a strength check not to get stuck um, every round you're in there, and it, then it's going to be a, um, a, a dex check to try and get this, the the um, solve way out from wherever a Cerise has it. Yeah, I've got some on my belt. I don't know if anybody else carries it. I carry it. I carry it. Doc is so, going in there. If, you, if you're going to go in there, Doc, it's a strength check to get in there without getting stuck. Yeah, I thought I it was part of the basic way. kit, right? Say again? I thought everybody had some that was part of the basic kit. If it's part of the basic kit in the in inventory, then it's part of the basic kit in the inventory. And the inventory doesn't have it here. Damn. Sorry. I have to put it back in. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's not listed in any of the uh, basic equipment pack or in the med well, kit. That, yeah, well, that's where it would be in the basic equipment pack if it's anywhere. I always thought it was separate. I didn't think it was part of a kit. The basic equipment anyway. might give like a stim or a stay dose. Gives a stim and a, uses both a stim and a stay dose. There was a, and also a dose grenade at, uh, plus a chronochrome and a few other bits and pieces. Yeah, that's right. I anyway. I got stuck. Uh, uh, that's oh, yeah, you got stuck. Yeah. Yeah, you got stuck, mate. So uh, you you are both you are stuck now. The question is, that's close enough that you probably got close enough to reach to the um, Cerise. Yeah, next next round. All right. Okay, and it'll be both a strength. It'll be an average of strength and reaction speed. No, uh, strength right. and dexterity. Sorry, Boke. With my third hand, I would like to grab my solve. Uh, that's a reaction. That, that's a dex check. That's a. While I while I also want to smack this dude with a sonic sword, is that good? Yeah. 
So it's a dex check for the re for, for the reaction speed. And it's minus ten for the. Okay, so you've got the solve way. It's also minus ten for the um for the uh, for the attack because you're semi distracted. So you have your solve away in your third hand. That's a miss. And you missed. Okay. okay, end of turn. Let's do some initiatives for these people. And by the way, hi, hi, Thomas. Welcome, and hope happy, you hope you're having a happy Easter. Happy Easter, guys. Good hearing your voice, man. You yeah, are every, everyone. You all good, mate. In terms of health and that. Uh yeah, more or less. More or less, nothing. Uh, uh, thankfully, nothing, nothing of interest to report. No news. Good, good news. Yeah, no, this is good news. That's yeah, that's across the board. That's great. Um, reporting for cat. Right, and the bad guys. Jazz, you're up. All right, Jazz does the uh, Jazz does the same thing. Uh, swing the Sonic Sword at number four. Okay. That looks Bye -bye. like so. Cat. All right, she's reloaded. Uh, she'll take another burst at the guy on top. Okay, go for your life. Whoa, nice. Uh, 30 points of damage, even nicer. Uh, he is now uh, heavily damaged. Uh, Babu. Uh, finish this guy off. Mm hmm. Ba -ba oh. Okay, end your turn. So, Doc, if you're reaching for this uh, thing on the uh, solve away on the belt, it's an average of a strength and dexterity. All right, so that would be minus 50. Come on, Doc. Almost had it. <laughs> no, no, not get you didn't manage to get to get to it, unfortunately. End your turn. Cerise, if you're reaching for the same thing again, it's half at half strength, half dex. Nope. Nope. End your turn. Uh, number one, who's heavily damaged, uh, takes another three shots with his gyrojet pistol. He's going to have to reload very soon. And hits only once on you, Babu, for 14 points of impact damage. Um, number two shoots at Voke twice with a laser pistol, striking twice. First shot does 14 damage of laser. Second shot does 20 points of laser damage. That was one and two. Three shoots twice at Jazz. Misses the first one. And really misses with the second one. Uh, number four also shoots twice at Jazz with a laser pistol. Uh, striking twice. The first laser does 21 points of damage. The second laser does 12 points of damage.
Number five tries to burst at um, Cerise and Doc, although you've both got partial cover. Uh, and effectively misses. Uh, num the commander swings with the Vibra knife at Jazz, hits with the Vibra knife. You remember what a Vibra knife does? It's four or five. No, it's not. Vibro it's... knife? No, that's like three. Three at the most. Oh, okay. All right. So 18 points of the Vibra knife. And I don't think the skin suit protects against that. Can't remember. Nope, it's inertia, right, I think. Up. I think Vibro knife is inertia, though. Is it? Uh, maybe. It's, oh, it's 2d10 inertia. Okay. Well, in that case, it's um, in that case, it's 13 points of damage to you, Jazz, with the Vibra knife. Uh, and Voke, you're up. Uh, I will do a melee melee attack, and can I get around to the Tangler grenade area? Doing a melee attack? No. Why would you be able to do that? Well, attack and then move back. No, it's one or the other. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I'm going to go for the glory. Whoops, I only meant to do it once. Okay. Well, maybe I should stop going for... <laughs> Initiates, please, guys. For Cerise, 12 for Doc, 12 for Jazz, 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 Jazz. Actually, you getting caught in this tangle of a grenade reminds me of the early, the early, early games of this particular campaign where you had a lot of fun with grenades, if you remember correctly. Uh, yeah, which one of those? I didn't throw mine. Yeah, which one of those is you? Which one's Doc and which one's? Um, uh, uh, um, first one was Babu. Uh, Babu. First was Babu, was it? Thing is, I have a hot bar with that initiative that I rolled yeah. for Babu. Yeah. Well, it only comes up if I have Babu up. If I have Doc yeah. up, it's not there. That's, That's what right. I used, and it still came up Doc. Mm, interesting. So, everybody? 14. For Doc, 13 for Cat, 12 for, for Babu, 12 for Jazz, and 14 and 11 for Voke, and 10 for Cerise. He's right, okay. And the bad guys got, oh, you're going to be happy about that. Okay, Doc, you're up. Again, if you're trying to reach with solve away, it's strength, half strength and half dex. I can't type now either. You forgot it's the obviously slash not. die. Yeah. I got it. Okay. Yes, you hit him. How much damage do you do? No, no, no. That's hitting the solve away. Oh, it's got the solve away. All right, uh, you can apply the you can apply the solve away. It'll be you'll be dissolved by the end of the start of next round. All right, then I will do that. Okay. End your turn when you're ready. Cat. Oops, Cat. should push to talk. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she'll she'll burst on that top guy again and hopefully kill the guy. Okay. Again, don't think he's got partial cover, but yeah. I believe that's doesn't, a hit. Doesn't matter, yeah. 
plus 40 minus 5. Or is partial cover 10? 10. Anyway, doesn't matter. Mm. Um, uh, 5 and 10 damage? Uh, and number 5 is dead. Well, unconscious anyway. Actually, no, dead. He would be. Yeah, dead. he's t he's taken like ninety points of damage. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's got. He had. A, he's got a lot of hit points. Uh, so number five's gone. Okay, when you end your turn, when you're ready. Babs. Go on a swing. Oh, almost. He turned. Uh, it's a miss. Hey. Return of oh, yeah. the budget crew. Return of the budget crew. And you're doing jazz. Swings away at number four again. Uh huh. Twenty-seven points on number four. Number four is now dead. Is unconscious. Practic practically dead. Did I happen to hear Doc go, got it, by chance? Uh, no. After his intense throw? Okay, then I will... Uh, Jay, I forget, do, I, do you provoke attacks if you move away? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes oh, yes, I yes. forgot about that. Okay, uh, yeah. Uh, no, thanks, then. I don't want to get smacked. Or you could just throw it in our general direction, hoping that we know you're throwing it. Yeah, around the corner of the van? I don't think so. 36 for the Sonic store, sword. Number two. number two. 36. Okay, he's heavily damaged. Heavily wounded. Cerise. So I'm still stuck, right? You're still stuck, but you've seen that you've seen the uh, the cyber way be applied, and it's starting it's starting to melt. All right. I right, so you're doing that. Okay. Uh, number one um, fires his last gyrojet pistol shot and misses. Number two fires twice with the laser pistol at Voke, uh, hitting once, missing once, and does 15 points of laser damage to Voke. Uh, number three uh, fires twice at Jazz with the laser pistol, hitting twice, once for 14 laser point damage and once for five. And the commander swings at you, Jazz, uh, and... Okay. Hits you. Seven points of Vibra Knife, but I need you to make me a, uh, after you've taken the damage, I need you to make me a current stamina check because you may be being knocked out here. Okay. Uh, seven points. Looks like a knockout. Yeah, okay, so uh, Jazz goes down. Can I get initials of everybody except Jazz, please? Now, no one's aware that, nobody is aware that Jazz is out of it because nobody saw him go down. Yeah, he's on his own over there. Mm-hmm. 
So the plan was go. to go over there. Yeah, well. Uh, so, uh, Doc, you're up. <coughs> unless Ed, unless you want to hold, wait, hold. And okay. unstuck. Uh, you are unstuck. Okay, we're all unstuck. Who is injured? Uh, well, you don't know that because you can't see anyone except for okay. Cerise, and Cerise is uninjured. And you can yell out, though. Who's injured? And then wait a turn. On the well, column, anybody yeah. uh, yelling for medic? I'm going to probably hunker nope. down in the shadow of this uh, vehicle then and try to ascertain. Well, if I'm down, I'm picturing myself kind of low on the vehicle where I might be able to look underneath. Yep. With the possibility of maybe seeing Jazz on the ground, but just to see if there is anybody. Well, you... Yeah, you give you need, I need, I you need to give me a, yeah, a spot check, please. A search spot check, yeah. See what you can see. Yeah, you can see you can see Jazz lying on the ground. And next turn I'll head that way. Okay. End your turn when you're ready. At the same time, Voke, what are you doing? Uh, attacking again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, the dice do not like me today. Ah, uh, yeah, I need a reaction speed check, mate. That's a critical fail. They hate me. You take... You, you, you hit yourself with your own sword. Oh. 30 points of damage. End your turn when you're ready. Babu, you've medic. seen... Uh, <laughs> and, you've just, and you've just heard a medic, uh, the call for medic go off, Doc. Um, Babu, you're up. I'm worse wing. Oh, that's a critical hit. He did. He did. I think so. I feel better. All right, so I uh, grab my force axe and uh, turn it on and head towards the right side. All right, you head to, towards the right side. You see the following: um, two guys in skin suits. Um, one the civilian skin suit, one the military skin suit. Um, the guy, the, the guy with the civilian skin suit has a laser rifle um, and a vibra knife, a laser light rifle in his arms and a vibra knife uh, on his belt. The guy in the military skin suit has a laser pistol. Um, he's in, he's in the process of changing clips on the laser pistol. They're both backing towards the back of the the explorer, so they're a, a few meters. They're about four, three, four metres back, and about a metre and a half, two metres in front of you, you can see uh, Jazz lying on the ground. All right, can I get, do I have enough movement to attack? You do. You will be subject to a, a, a attack of opportunity, though, if you close. Well, if I close next round, I'll be attack of opportunity, right? Yeah. I'm just saying, you'd be aware of it. So you're going you're gonna to charge these guys? You're going to charge these guys. Yes, is that what you're doing? Yep. And I'll, I'll yell out, Jazz is down. Over here. Okay. So which one were you attacking? The guy in the civilian skin suit or the guy in the military skin suit? Uh, civilian. All right. Nice roll. Now, there's a, four, there's, now there's, a, there's a skin suit help against a force axe? I can't remember. Yep. What about an inertia screen? Yep. It take a quarter damage. Mm, that's what I thought. Yeah, inertia defense. Mm -hmm. Does oh, he have an inertia screen too? He does. All right, he hits you with a burst of a burst of automatic rifle fire. 
for a total of 33 points of damage. Didn't he have his knife out? No, I said he had his. I said he had his rifle out, and his knife was on. I his know, head. but wasn't he the one who hit um, Jazz? Yeah, wasn't but he then he Jazz? swapped his gun, probably. Ah, then he swapped his gun. No one saw because you know nobody could no one see. Was there to see. Exactly. Uh, number uh, you, you, uh, uh, number two is taking advantage. Oh yes, number two is taking advantage of um, your uh, uh, monumental um, stuff up, Voke. Um, yep. Shoots. Um, um, actually, um, didn't shoot you, but actually swung his pistol at your uh, his pistol butt at your head because uh, he was out. He was out of he was out of energy. Um, he connects with your head. Um, only does. Uh, um, what's his punching score? Nine points of damage. All right. But I need you to, but, but, but there's a potential for you to be knocked out. So once you've taken all your damage, I need you to roll me a, a current stamina roll. No, that's right? not... Oh, it is. Okay, you are not knocked out, but you felt you felt goozy for a second. Uh, number three, as I said, was reloading, um, and so does not get a shot off this round. Uh, the commander's already used all his actions up um, in the attack of opportunity that he, he used on you. Cat, you're up. All right. Uh, what do I see right now? Uh, uh, you can see right now, um, Voke and uh, number two in uh, melee combat. Um, Babu has just dropped his and is about to do something else next round. Um, the guy you were exchanging burst fire with is slumped over the top of the uh, half out of the, the, the top of the Explorer. Uh, Doc is crouching down at, at the front of the Explorer, looking underneath it. Um, you've and you've seen Cerise move around the right side of the Explorer. You've also heard the following: you've heard medic from Voke, and you've heard uh, Voke hit him, uh, uh, stab himself with his own sword, uh, and you've heard um, Jazz down on the right from Cerise, uh, plus gunfire um, and laser fire and and that type of thing. Right, so that's what you've got. That's the situation. Yeah. Um, cool. Uh, it feels like Babu's got this under control, uh, even if Folk may not. I'd be more worried about Jazz going down, so I would head over around the corner, uh, holstering my pistol and getting out my Sonic Stored okay. along the way. Uh uh, so I don't know I'd get an the... attack, but... Uh, uh, no, not yeah. just running. You, you, you weren't running? Oh, I mean, I'll run if I feel like I could get an attack at the end of well, the charge. Well, yeah. Well, okay. Well, but it's around a corner, so I, I don't... It's around, so. a couple of, it's, yeah. it's around a yeah. couple of corners. So, yeah. so no. Um, so, when you get around the corner, uh, you can see Cerise engaged with um, two individuals, one wearing a, a military skin suit, the other one wearing a civilian skin suit, um, down the far end of the... the um, at the Explorer, whereas Jazz is at your feet, effectively. Yeah? Yep. Okay, end your turn. That's basically all you can do, I think. So. Yeah, uh, I And think Jazz, so. you're, un fair. you're unconscious. So we get initiatives of everybody, please. Uh, do I actually, if, if I uh, yeah, get a feel for it, tell me, uh, do I get a feeling that Jazz was knocked unconscious or whether he took, like, Fatal wounds. How wounded are you, Jazz? Not really all that wounded. Just uh, a, a down. A quarter, and a quarter, a quarter, a third, half. Uh, one fifth. He's only lightly wounded. It's it's a it's a few it's a few mine it's a few mon it's, a, it's a, a a few bullet holes things like that. He, so he doesn't. <laughs> a look... few bullet holes. <laughs> Yeah, but he's not like Full. bleeding out kind of thing. No, he's not bleeding out. No, he, he looks lightly wounded, not heavily wounded. Although technically, it's, it's you know, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You don't I, have medic. You don't. You don't have medical skill, so it's just it's just your your estimation. But he, but he, I, he, I, he's, you, you can certainly t you can certainly t you can certainly tell a light wound from a medium set of wounds to a heavy wound. He's only lightly wounded. Yeah, yeah. Mainly, okay. I'm asking whether I would slap him with a stim dose or a stay dose. 
That's that's the question that I'm asking. Oh, probably a stim dose. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that information. Yeah, yeah probably a stim dose. <laughs> if you're going to slap him with anything, it'd be yeah. a stim dose. He's certainly only lightly wounded. Yeah, uh, gotcha. So seven for Cerise, uh, nine for Voke, uh, ten for Babu. Where's Babu? Here we are. Babu. Ten for Babu. Uh, I have to duck to the bathroom, so I'll be right back. Uh, yep, my action, yep, yep, yep. if you get to me, will be slapping Jazz with a stim dose. Uh, Cool. Unless something spectacular happens that you think I would not do that. No, that's fine. In fact, um, unless these guys beat you, you're going to go in a second. So I'll, that's the declared action. I'll follow those declared actions. Uh, yeah, you're going to go before anyone else, before anyone except Doc. Okay, so 15, Cat was um, 14. Okay, so Doc... Um, Cat's just passed you, obviously, on the way round to that side of the, the, the right-hand side of that explorer. What do you want to do? Okay. Doc? Did I hear hmm. Vogue get hit? Or... Uh, you heard Vogue scream for a medic. Uh, and you heard, I'll turn and you heard and Cerise. I and did... you heard Cerise say, hang on. And you heard Cerise say, uh, Jazz is down. But I saw Cat going that way. You saw both Cat and Cerise go that way. Decisions, decisions, eh? They'll call for a medic if they need me. I'm going to go to Voke. Okay. So moving around, um, Voke is engaged in melee combat with a guy. Um, it looks like the guy's just smacked Voke in the head with a with a uh, with, with the butt of a, a laser pistol, which is interesting because the from, uh, just a quick examination, a quick look at the glance at the wound tells you it's a it's a bladed wound. It's not a laser pistol or a blunt, blunt trauma wound. So you suspect um, Vote might have stabbed himself. Um, Babu's there as well. Um, uh, he's Babu standing over the, over the uh, corpse, what appears to be the corpse of the second guy. Um, that's what you see. Hey, I'll probably head to the guy that's down and just see what his condition is. Okay. Um, if you do that, that'll be your entire action, and I'll need a diagnostic roll off you real quick, please. A raw, no, no equipment, because you haven't told me you're drawing your equipment. Correct. Um, yeah, well, uh, he's dead. <laughs> he's not breathing. All right, that was uh, easy. Uh, there's no hot, there's no pulse rate, there's nothing. He's dead, dead. End your turn when you're ready. Cat uh, slaps on a stim patch onto uh, Jazz. Jazz, you'll be up and right to go for next round. Okay. Excellent. Okay. End your turn when you're ready. Uh, number two um, swings his pistol butt at um, at you again, Voke. Uh, this time he misses. Uh, number three is now reloaded and puts. Two shots into Cerise with a laser pistol. The first one misses. The second one also misses. God, they're bad. Uh, and the commander um, swings his rifle butt as a club at your uh, head as well, Cerise. Uh, missing incredibly badly. Babu? Okay, so number two is the one that's fighting Vogue, right? Yeah, number two is the one fighting Vogue, that's right. And is the guy with Who's the assault rifle still up top? No, well, no, as far as you're aware, no. You haven't heard any assault rifle bursts. Yeah, you've, okay. you've heard a few assault and pistol bursts. I'll plant my axe on the guy's back. Which guy? Number two? Number two. Okay. Plus ten to hit. Not that you need it. Yeah, and he goes down with a force axe in his back. It's a pretty thing. It's a pretty thing. Now, I just want to see for the record. Nope, I would not have had him. All right, so number three is only, um, uh, number two has gone down. Uh, end your turn when you're ready, please. Um, oh, Vogue, what are you, well, what were you doing? Because um, you were, your action, sorry. 
Well, uh, since the doctors got here, I'll wait to get patched up. So I'll do nothing. Okay. All right, end your turn. Sharif. I'm going to attack. Okay. That's a hit. Um, 15, 7, and 8. And I'll yell out, this guy's got an inertia screen. Uh, and you turn when you're ready. Jazz, you are back on your feet, but can't do anything this round. So that's initiatives, please, people. There's the cat. I just love the mechanism of a stim dose that's like, Cat just came up and slapped Jazz on the ass, and now he's awake yeah. and ready to fight again. <laughs> it's the way the way. That's the way the rules work. All right. The takes first about, one was Doc. Takes, takes five six seconds, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Try some smelling salts if you're ever curious. Yeah, they oh, work the same yeah. way. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Right, six to evoke. Uh, the first was Doc. You said was it? Yes. Okay. Doc, you're up. I believe uh, right. Vote's looking for a first aid. So how much damage to be with... Hang on, hang on, hang on. How much damage to be taken, Vote? Uh, 34. All right, so minus 34 to your first aid roll, mate. I put minus 34 in mine. Or we'll put plus, plus 34 30. actually. It's plus 34 actually. Yes, you get 10 points back, Vogue. Thank and you. And you turn when you're ready, please, Doc. That way I Therese. can actually hit. Yeah, Therese. Um, uh, is the um is number three within melee reach? No, he's just outside. Um, but the commander's got a, a rifle, so I can I can disengage from him, right? Without yeah, but he's using it as a, he's using it as a club. Oh, okay. I guess I'll just keep I going for him. Okay. Oops, oh, sorry. Yeah, first one, and not that it matters. You missed with both. Jazz, you uh, you get to your feet and you can see um, your cats just um, felt you up. Looks like uh, cats just hit you with a stim pow a stim dose, a stim a, a stim slap patch, um, and um, uh, about three meters further down the explorer, um, Cerise is engaged with um, the guy in the civilian skin, skin suit. And the guy in the military skin suit is just outside melee range and shooting at and shooting at um, Cerise with a laser pistol. What are you doing? Okay. Um, Jazz will grab the sonic sword. Uh, no. So everyone, so no one's in melee range right now. Uh, no, but you can move and get, you can you, you use a charge action to get into melee with somebody, like for example, the guy number three, who's not technically engaged. All right, so, so Jazz, I assume is still prone on the ground. Um, sword is next to him um yeah but jazz will jazz will just pull out his laser pistol while still in the prone uh -huh. on the ground and just shoot from prone um oh okay let's let's shoot at the guy that is beating up on cerise all right now you realize is. you're shooting into melee so there's a penalty to it and you may hit you may hit cerise i know cerise yeah. has got an albedo screen but yeah that's okay cerise needs help <laughs> yeah if you're yep. shooting laser i'm fine yeah, it's a laser pistol. And until you until your power runs out. Yeah, yeah. I got a lot of power. <laughs> Ho hopefully, Jazz doesn't miss enough for that to be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here's the attack roll. Um, so how, well, okay. So so if you're drawing if you're drawing this round, you're only getting you're only getting one shot in. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, even if I didn't have to use that one shot, I would just do a careful aim anyways, uh, because that's a draw. There's a crit. Oh, there is a crit. Nice. 
Oh, very nice crit. Yeah, go for it. Uh, roll the damage. And, and then, then I need to roll some. Then I need to work out what I'm doing. All right. So I have it set on ten. Yeah, he's uh, he he may be very dead. So that's what 102. Oh, uh, with a crit, trouble. yeah. No, that's a knockout. Potential. It's a potential knockout. What it is. Yeah, but I've still done some damage to him. I know you have. At best, he has 44 stamina. So that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean at best he's got 44 stamina? After taking 56 laser damage, then like yeah, for just normal. Chill, just, chill, just chill. Because part of that part of that damage is reflected. He's got the commander has a inertia screen and a skin suit. suit. So that's right. It's, yeah, that's and no part of that though. and and part of that damage is reflected. What? From what? You'll find out when all in all good time. All good time. Twenty-eight points damage. Experimental tech. I want it. Well done. Someone worked it out. He's dipped. He's taken a. He's taken a dip in a uh, albedo bath. <laughs> There's wonders for the skin. Oh, but All right, uh, now, hang on. Now I've got. Now, now I've worked out his damage. I've got to do his his current stamina. Hang on. Is there like any kind of? No, he actually. Damage? He actually is not knocked out with that. I'm impressed. Uh, number three uh, takes two pot shots uh, at um, back at you, Jazz. Out of curiosity, I don't remember. Is there any kind of crit damage with a roll of two? No, it's a knockout damage. You get a chance ah, to knock okay. him out with a, with, on a one or two. Uh, the first shot hits, second shot doesn't. The damage you take is 16 points of laser damage. Um, the commander again swings his rifle butt as a club at your head, Cerise. Uh, um, that's a that is a miss with his damage because he's heavily wounded. Cat, um, would I would would we have noticed at all that that laser damage got partially reflected? Uh, you will need to give me a you will need to give me a, um, a spot check for that. Uh, the answer is yes. Okay, so if I know that that happened, uh, I was going to engage uh, number three, uh, but seeing that he might be uh, reflecting laser damage as well, I'm going to engage him with my sonic sword uh, and have a swing at him. Okay. Do you get to attack from behind? Or not the right position? Yeah, what the right. fuck? Probably not, because three is still kind of that. Mm. Ain't your turn when you're ready. Uh, Babu's, you, you, Babu, you've still got number two. Yeah, no, you, no yeah. number two's down. Number two's dead. No, number two's down. Um, you've heard Cerise yell out something about a be about our, about um, a B day screen or something. I go I around the back of the. Uh... Eric's or vehicle. You you can you won't be able to do anything though. You, you, in other words, your entire action will be moving around because you've got to go around two corners basically. Yeah. Or I could get to basically where Cherise is if I go around the front of it. No, they're closer to the back. Oh, okay, but well, I'll I'll go around the back then. Uh, I All do right. have a run of thirty. Right. Yeah, I know. It's just yeah, you sort of know what you're getting into. That's the thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, so um, when you do get around the back, you can see Cerise uh, in hand-to-hand -hand combat with the guy, uh, uh with um, a, a laser rifle, um, using sorry a laser rifle using a um, um, using the barrel butt as a club. <laughs> you can see another guy not too far away in a skin suit whose back is effectively to you, shooting a laser pistol back down the front uh, towards the front of the explorer where jazz is lying on the ground shooting and cerise is um 
No, sorry, Sharif, Sharif, and the guy, uh, Sharif and the guy with the laser pistol are engaged in Ali. That was right, sorry. So that's what you see. Okay, for next time. Vogue, right. what are you doing? I'm following Babu. Doing the same thing if here. If you follow Babu, if you follow Babu, you won't get your first aid. Then can I put away my solve away and... Yeah, just pull put away my solve away. Sure, no worries. Yep. Uh, Initiates, please, people. And you've been fighting for a minute. We're just going into eleven. We're just going into round eleven now, and it's six seconds around, get more or less. So seven for Voke, and thirteen for Babu. Uh, well, the odds have not been in our favor. The dice Babu, that is. Jazz is uh, seven for Babu. Yeah, I think the Babu. odds are turning into our favor, right? Mm. It's well, right Babu. now, yes, but the dice have been against us, or at least against <laughs> me. <laughs> The dice have been against us the first day we ran it. Yeah, weren't they just? <laughs> Jazz is on 15. I really love that one XP that I dropped onto reaction speed to get an extra plus on my initiative. That was my most efficient XP point spend ever. <laughs> what, the, what, the meta, the meta gaming? <laughs> We're not meta gaming, are we? Oh, 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 oh. oh. Just trying to make the numbers as big as possible. Yeah, it's called meta gaming, dude, or min maxing, if, if they're even worse. Right, Jazz, you're up. Um, when I when I look at number three, can does he have that telltale silvery sheen of an albedo screen? Uh, number three, uh, no, he doesn't. He has a he has a badly shredded uh, he has a badly shredded military skin suit. All right, so so Jazz will. Um, fire at num take careful aim. Fire at number three instead. Seeing that Cat and Cerise are now on the, all over the captain. No, Cerise. Cat, is not, Cat went for the laser guy, didn't you, Cat? Cat went for the commander. Oh, did he? The commander's the one that's just barely hanging on. All right. Okay. Sorry, yeah. I, I was mistaken. All right. Uh, yes, you may shoot it. Shoot it. Yeah, shoot, careful aim. You're only getting one shot, of course. Right. I mean, the um, commander was the one that got shot with the laser and reflected some off, right? Yes. Yeah. And he's been hit twice with a force axe. Yeah. Yes. So I don't Very have the, the modifiers are not there yet. So I'm just going no, to no, straight back. I know. I'll tell you. Uh, it's, um, I think it's. With a careful aim. Yeah, with a careful aim that hits. Yeah. Careful aim that hits. What, you, what, what was right. your pistol set on? Uh, ten. Oh, still okay. Jazz is like dead. cat. Two He's two dead. shots, and they got to reload. <laughs> well, I this hook to the backpack, so hey. Okay. Um. Can uh. You, can, a laser can blast. You a a drill. A laser. Dr bl yeah, of course you can. Yeah. It's got a backpack. It's got a weapon port. There's all the ports are the same. Yeah, all the weapon ports are the same ports. Can I make a backpack of just bullets? No. <laughs> <laughs> like a chain gun end your thing. <laughs> end, your end, your end your turn when you're ready, Jess. You can make a Doc? backpack of bullets if those bullets are laser laser bullets. Laser yeah, yeah. Bullets. Doc, what are you doing? Uh, I will probably follow behind Babu and vote. Okay. Well, Vogue hasn't left yet, but okay. End your uh, turn when you're ready. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, uh, tell you what, I'm going to shadow Vogue just because I just patched him up and make sure he's not going to move too fast to tear it off initially. Okay. So. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Sounds good. End your turn when you're ready. Does that mean that, Jazz, that uh, do you carry an extra backpack in the Explorer? Otherwise, you've got 10 shots all scenario, and that's even scarier. Yeah, after that, just switch to clips. Okay. Um, uh, 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 seeing all his men go uh, go down, uh, the commander takes a wild. I'm not too joking about this. The t commander takes a wild swing at you with the with the rifle butt, um, and, and actually, you guys are on the edge of the cliff, and he rolled a 99, which is not good. 
and he stumbles and goes over the edge. No! Get back here, damn it! Uh, and uh, falls some 100 odd 50 meters. Um, and uh, there, even from here, um, uh, you can hear the sickening crunch of broken bones. 150 meters or 150 meters? 150 meters. Can I tie? So I, I, the grappling gun has a right basic 100 meter line right hold on Bo. let's take care of okay. business first <laughs> yeah who needs heels i do but uh cerise does first aid should be good enough oh babu he are we out of combat well there's no one left to die there's no one left to kill yeah, that's true uh since I'm around back, I'll move further back or further up the road from where they came from just to see if there's any follow-on forces. No. No, there does not appear to be. And Doc will do all his healing that people need. Jazz, how many... How many hang on, Jazz. Just oh, down yeah. 10. Oh, okay. Only down 10. Yep, you got you to take your damage off these rolls, don't forget. Off the Depend what, on the, sorry? the medical rolls. All the medical rolls, you've got to, you've got to take your damage off. Is it... Uh, the heart, the more damage wound? you are, the, the more damaged you are, the more wounds you've taken, the harder it is to heal you, even first aid. All right. Oh. Okay. So how does that uh, how does that apply? So if I'm at down by ten points, uh, how does that affect you? You, the you take ten. You you, you add ten, you add, a, add a penalty of ten. Okay. All right. So Which, then I would. For you, you're still success. You're still successful, right? But it's gonna it will make a difference in some some circumstances. Yep. Yep. Okay. So there you go. Um, what do you guys want to do? Anything you guys want to do in particular? Actually, uh, what um, so, so go on. Uh, what about so, search their vehicle? Search yeah, the bodies, right, search the vehicles. Yeah, okay. All right. No worries at all. Um, I'll tell you what, give me, um, how about we have a quick five minute uh, bathroom break? Yeah? Yep, Coffee break? No Sounds good. Yeah. And, we'll, right. and we'll be back, back soon. I want that stuff. Yeah, I know, but we let's wait. I mean, to get your to character it. doesn't even know that that stuff exists. <laughs> so. <laughs> Your character shouldn't even be acting on anything interesting right now. Jazz saw it, and I saw it. Jazz will say to Cerise, let's not tell Volk about that stuff. <laughs> what was it? I don't know, dude. Because I know his shield resisted my force axe. But he also somehow reflected your laser. And it wasn't, he was wearing a skin suit, so. Imagine how much of a pain in the ass it's going to be if we find more enemies with multiple resistances. That's yep. going to be such an awful time. Oh, it would be fine. It's everything just boils down to melee. With Sonic <laughs> and Sword. Sonic Swords. We got to get you one of those, Babu. I don't know if he's there. Oh, he might have gone away. Yeah, I think so. Five minute break. Yeah, but we got to get Babu with Sonic Sword. Is there an uh, electricity version of a sword as well? Yeah, there's electric an electric sword. sword. Nice. I think it might be the same as a Sonic Sword, or maybe a little worse. I think it does. Inertia damage, though, same as a force. No, it, it does. It does electric. No, it's Gauss. It's yeah, it's Gauss. Gauss. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. And it does less damage, I think. I think it does three dice. Well, I think I think it does four. 
because Sonic is five. But it could do three. I just remember that the, the electric sword was somewhat weaker than a Sonic. And the Sonic's weaker, but only by the attack bonus. Yeah. It's got a plus 15 instead of a 20. Does the same and damage. And you don't get a punch bonus. No. But, I mean, but that really doesn't matter for any of us. Except Babu. Babu. <laughs> but then you look at, well, they take they take half damage or sometimes a quarter damage. It's like, well, it was his plus... Yeah, Sonic Swords cut through things. Yeah, it's his the plus... Sonic... The Sonic Shield really sucks. Like, you, wouldn't, you can't wear it all the time anyway. Because it means you can't hear anything. Like, it's, it's an awful shield just to the impracticality of wearing it. And it drains power constantly. So, it's just it's just a bad shield all around. So, it's pretty unlikely that we're going to come up against people with sonic shields. And you're going to know about it if they've got them on. I wonder, does radio work through it? So, like, if we've all got a sonic shield on, but we have radio communications, will we still be able to talk to each other? I'd assume so. It's just a it's just a noise cancelling thing. It's not a all pressure. Well, yeah. It would, yeah, cone of silence. Like, is, it a, get smart. Yeah, is it like a get smart cone of silence, or is it just a sound proofing wall, energy wall? Uh, well, it's not a physical thing. Uh, it's something that doesn't block anything physical, but blocks all sound going in or out. So whatever that means. Yeah, I, I don't think they get quite that far into the science, right? Yeah, but if you have an earpiece that's your radio communication, you're fine. Cause if your shield is skin tight, then technically it'd go over your earpiece. So you'd be fine. I'm going to grab water. I'll be right back. May have gotten a little bit too excited over the s commander falling off and wanting his stuff. But I bought a grappling gun and I want to use it for something. You just want to be Batman. You should have, uh, you probably picked the wrong race if you wanted to become Star Frontiers Batman. <laughs> Well, I figure we're in a mountainous region. It might come in handy. And exploding grappling head. I don't know what the heck it does, but if I could shoot it at somebody, that'd be pretty fun. So the the grappling head explodes. Yes. I think what it. Yeah. Or is it yeah, an explosively it, like propelled it grappling head? head? I think it's propelled. Yeah, because it wouldn't make sense for it to be a grapple head if it exploded. Well, when it I read on the well website, it said, I don't know if it was an explosive as in it was powered by an explosive charge or if the head itself. Because it said something about digging into the rock, into a rock surface. So I've there's two things I can think of is one is 
you know, a, a explosive charge to propel the grappling hook to the top of the wall. The other is a, a spike or a piton, right, that's self-burying with an explosive charge. But I don't, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't remember the entire thing from the website, and I can't get to the website because of the bad certificate. Ah, shit. Uh, I was going to copy and paste it, but I'm accessing it on a computer that I'm not playing Fantasy Grounds on, so I can't. Uh, it says the grappling gun is used for small scale climbs. After anchoring it with its grapple or unscrewing the claw and attaching an explosive head, blasting its way into a rock. So it feels like the explosive head is for like firing it into a rock to um, be a like a, a, a mount, a climbing mount point. Yeah. Um, yeah so I, it, what they call that. I, I, I forget what they call it, but there is definitely a word for that kind of gun where it just pressurely shoots itself into a rock and then you can use it for climbing this is what it appears okay That's so it basically it uses an explosive charge to dig itself deeper in yeah yeah okay so, so it's perfect for shooting at somebody uh i don't the I don't explosion think happens explode. at you not at there yeah and, and it's like a nail gun where you're supposed to put the gun up against the rock surface and pull the trigger. Yeah. It probably doesn't fire accurately enough to uh, fire it at somebody. Ah, uh, unfortunately. Well, yeah, and it doesn't explode when it hits them. And a, and a claw hitting them is just going to cause bludgeoning damage it's not going to impale them and you're going to be able to pull them over like scorpion uh, i think there's a separate spear gun for that hmm, that'd be that'd be a fun gun but i think that's more for aquatic things than it is yeah it is being can you scorpion. read uh and see how much line a grappling gun normally has uh a hundred meters okay. of micro line uh, it can lift 120 kilos of weight. Does it say anything about adding an extra line to an existing line? Uh, I don't know. It's micro line, so whatever that means. I, I, it feels like that's probably not something you can tie together. Huh. No idea. The anchor rod is fired by the same type of shell as in a grenade rifle. So it's it's kind of like a grenade rifle, but it's got a grappling hook on the outside. I don't know, are you guys interested in trying to go down and get it or no? I'm just hoping that they've got supplies in the vehicle that... We don't have to. How far down do we do we say that they that they use? 150 meters, and the grappling gun only goes 100. So if we can figure out a way to add my extra 100 meter line, we'll be fine. But uh, I'm this... back. We all here? Yeah. Yep. All right. So um, you guys wanted to search these guys. Um, yeah. So uh, there's a Gyrojet pistol um, and uh, with, with two clips remaining. Um, there are three laser pistols um, with uh, nine full power clips and um, Ten full power clips. Eleven full power clips. I'll get it right in a moment. Um, and one uh, partially used power clip. Uh, it's um, at sitting at um, eighty-five percent charged at the moment, or uh, eight, uh, 
17. 17. 17 SEUs in it. Um, there's um, an automatic rifle with um, two full bullet clips. Would it technically be illegal if we picked that up? We can't leave it here for, you know, children to stumble across. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, uh, and there's some, uh, there, uh, uh, there are, um, there's a, a fully ruined skin suit, military skin suit. There's a, a skin suit with um, uh, 26 points remaining uh, and two skin suits uh, with 34 points remaining. And one you said was ruined? One ruined skin suit, yeah. And how much on those two? Which 34? two? 34? 20 suits? Yeah, 34, 30? yeah, two lots of 34, one lot with, with 34 remaining, uh, and one with 26 remaining, and one with zero remaining. Hmm. Um, and I'm making one, note, guys. Yeah, and one with... And the uh, and and one with um, uh, twenty one remaining. Okay. And is there anything odd about these skin suits? Oh no 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 sorry 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 that last one no sorry that last one was an albedo suit and it it, it, it had taken twenty points of damage. That last one so that last skin suit was an albedo suit. I, I read it wrong. My fault. Do apologize. Okay. Any papers, name badges? Now getting to that. Um, okay. No. Uh, um, now the. Um, hang on. Um, there's also the rocket launcher. Uh, with. A rocket loaded in the launcher and a second rocket ready to go. Okay. Now that's basically no, no, two rockets re ready to go. One in the launcher and two more and two spares. Um, there's also a, um, a grenade case in the in the enemy explorer. Yay! Um, what's in it? Um, three Tangler, six Frag, three Does, and four Smoke. Well, as long as you're not, you know, hitting yourself with the grenades again, sorry. Now, I think the thing that I don't understand here is the... Uh the lawfulness or lawlessness of the area that we're in. If there wasn't um, a crazy cult up on the mountain, would we have expected to ever be attacked? Driving it's wilderness. Like this? It's wilderness. It's a dirt road wilderness area. And the only reason the road's in there is to get to the sanitarium. Yeah. It's a, it's a very well-maintained dirt road, but it is only a dirt road. Yeah. No, so they knew we were coming. Somebody in town told them we were coming. Um, in addition to the box of grenades and the two the two spare rockets, um, there are thirty power clips, twenty automatic pistol bullet clips, and nine automatic rifle clips. There are also two backpacks, as in power backpacks. So no, wait, I, backpack I got the power clips and the auto rifle clips. There was another clip in there. Yes, 20 automatic pistol clips and 9 automatic rifle clips. They're not, in a, they're not interchangeable, don't forget. Yeah, yeah, I know. No, no that, was for, that was for Cerise's benefit ah, more yeah. than yours. Just um, yet did another I, reason did why I, uh, did I, did I, did I. laser rifles are supreme. Yeah, but everybody carries an albedo screen. Well, that's changing up these days, as uh, made clear by uh, the commander 
which was pretty much immune to physical damage. And Not partially really. immune to lasers. Hmm. Um, so, no, there are two canvas backpacks. And they're full, by the way. A full of what? Yeah. While you're opening them up? Yeah. Yeah. Not. There we go. Uh, inside you find um, pitons, crampons, coils of rope. <laughs> Vogue's going to kill himself climbing down this cliff. Um, there's uh, two backpacks. It's basically climbing kit. It's climbing kit. Um, mountaineering kit. All right. Um, now, can I get spot checks off everybody, please? No glide jets, right? No glide jets. But all the arms are made by Stizer arms. The arms, yep. Are. I was going to ask that. Mm -hmm. Now, um, the Explorer itself um, is a standard Explorer um, as such. Um, it is equipped with a, a, a radio. Uh, and lying next to the radio is a piece of pa paper. All right, and the paper. Do we know any of these names? Gorbos or anybody else? I don't know. Do you? We know Boot, right? Dr. Boot. Hey, wasn't Gorbos the guy that we terrorized? He was like following us. And then we spotted him and hired him. We paid him a little bit to kind of just. I don't act think like we him. got a name off of him, though. We looked at his wallet and we, we looked at his, uh, his home address, his ID, right? From what I remember. Yeah, we did. We did search him for identification. I don't know if we got his name, and that was his name. So I don't, I don't, I don't know if he was a fat man. I don't think he was. What else do we know about Stizer the, Arms? Okay, if it's the guy you're talking about, it, it, um, he was a blob. He was a um, drill site. Ah. Uh. Oh, Sizor Arms, they, uh, they, they've they been supplying the weapons for the riots in the city. Artemis Research and Estonza Finance. Yes, they're, they're new to the weapon industry. They're like two years old. Yep. And all their guns seem to end up in the, in the hands of these terrorists. Yep. I think there was a Dart Dr. Martin do? Boot. Yeah, I think Boot was the doctor at the sanitarium. Hi, Pete, sanitarium, by, run by Dr. Martin Boot. Mm -hmm. All right, doctor. Did we all get healed up? I think we... Still, some of us need to get healed. Some of you had... Everyone's had first aid, haven't they, or have they not? No. Only... No, they need first aid. I had first aid, but I'm still five points down at that point. I I'm haven't down. had first aid, and then I will be five points down. I'm 24 down, uh, 24 down even with first aid. So you're going to need minor. We do first aid first. Well, yeah. Vokes had first aid. He's still 24 points. Right, yeah. Right? So I need a minor, sur but Cerise needs oh. it. So hang on, so Doc's, not, Doc's, so Doc's not hurt. Cat's had first aid. Jazz, have you had first aid? You have, you did it yourself. Yep. Cerise? Yep. Not yet. Cerise, have you, not yet. How many, how many points are you down, Cerise? 15. Then fifteen add fifteen penalty to your first aid roll, please, Doc. And Babu, are you hurt? Yeah, I got a few points. It's not bad. 
Listen, guys, um, those in the States in particular, I've been buying a little bit of equipment from overseas because I can't buy it here in Australia for some strange reason. And when I try and buy it overseas off eBay, uh, they want to charge, or Amazon, they want to charge more than the cost, more in postage than the, the damn thing's worth in, in price. If I, um, if I organise for you guys to purchase me something and send it to me and then reimburse you with a direct, de a direct deposit on your account, can we organise that at some stage? Yeah, yeah, reach out to me. That's no problem. Thanks, mate. And if Just be careful. There's something he can't. He got me too. Yeah. What were you saying, Ben? Matt wants those uh, rifles and rocket launchers. No, I don't want them. <laughs> which are, which nothing are illegal. illegal on the, on the planet. It's nothing illegal. It's, it's just for some reason there's no distributor out here. That's why. Sometimes um, <laughs> postage can be a nightmare anyway, even if you go. Yeah, I know. Like, I know. I, I know. We, we may. Steph got a big box mail to her the other month, and it was like two hundred dollars postage, and that yeah. was even after well, shopping around. Yeah. Well, when someone when someone can send when someone can send me, um, I got my laptop from overseas because they they don't sell the model of laptop out here in Australia, um, but I got it with an Australian power pack. So figure that one, um, and the postage was the postage was twelve dollars, on a laptop full you know full full laptop. So I don't know why, you know, I don't I, I can't understand why the postage is so crazy all the time. Um, on some of these things. Anyway, that's beside the point. I just thought I'd mention it while I was here. I just glanced over and saw something and thought, oh, you must mention that. Um, so what do you guys want to do? You, you, so Kat wants to drive the Explorer back um, the two days to town and then come back in the, the new one you just knocked off. Uh, no, I think we need else? to... to um, so we think if we get there, we're going to get there at night, right? I well, that's uh, what we're planning on doing. Well, we weren't going to drive at night because we didn't want to no, get I think, detected. I think the plan was to drive uh, based on based on um, some overhead satellite maps. Um, the plan was to stop the, the the Explorer a couple of clicks short behind the lee of a lee of a ridge, a convenient ridge, and then hike in the last couple of kilometres at night, yes. so you wouldn't be wouldn't be spotted. I, yeah, I think I think this guy is, is enough proof that we need to take direct action and we're no longer in the just observe and see what's out here mode. That's, well, you're still about half. You, you're still it's about midday. It's a little after. It's, it's a fraction after midday. It's lunchtime yeah, basically. I, and yeah, you were I'm, planning on you're planning on pulling in tonight at that spot that I mentioned a couple of clicks short and then going in that. That was the original plan. Has it changed? Uh, if you let me talk, so no, guys, no, I think already that. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, <laughs> go for it. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> One moment. Don't you get the sh don't you get the shit, Spike? Hey, please. His mic probably <laughs> chose this moment to cut out. I hope that's all it is. I'm sorry, Dan. Go ahead, please. Ryan, would you go and see what your dad's doing, please? With his vote too. Yeah, I think he went to go check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but so so Volk was talking about um, propelling down to search the captain's body. Oh uh, yeah. Can we evaluate? Can we evaluate like what it would take to actually do that? Well, you need climbing equipment for starters. Um, if you've got any particular skill which you think would be relevant, such as climbing. Um, mountaineering survival or anything else like that it would be helpful other than that it would be a um uh hang on a sec uh, yeah you'd it would be a it'd be a um a, a, again a combined reaction speed uh sorry dexterity and um strength check hmm. to do that 
do the okay. you know to do the to do the, it's not it, it, I mean it's a cliff I mean it's not exactly 90 degrees it's more cl it's close to 85 you know which is still pretty hard to climb we talk um, about the a, cliff he fell over yeah it's not a sheer yep. cliff it's a thing it, have I pissed your dad off have I He's a little, but I gave him bear or puppy, so he's okay so, now. So we need to fix the explorer. We can also. How much rope is in the uh, backpacks? Uh, two hundred each. So we can easily make a pulley system to lower somebody down. Um, the pulley part might be a bit of an issue. Uh, well, I have an additional rope of twenty-five meters. So. That was bamboo. So that's 250 there. Turn one of the explorers. Actually, put, it's got to have a jack. Let, take off a wheel. Now you've got, you even have a power pulley. Well, why don't you, yeah, yeah. I'll kill it. You can do it. It's 450 meters, by the way. 200 meters per, per backpack. Uh, well, we should be fine then. Yeah, yeah I'm just saying, yeah. Um, how are you going to do the pulley? Cause there, are, there are no actual pulley pulleys there. You'll have to improvise something, but yeah, use use the axle of one of or the wheel of one of the uh, explorers. Take the wheel off, and you have the hub. Mm, you can do that. Nothing wrong with doing that. Um, I'll, I'll get some engineering roles off people at the, at the appropriate points in time. Um, what about you? Said you wanted you wanted to repair the explorers, um, which you'll have to obviously diagnose what's wrong with the explorers, which again, will be some sort of, it'll be a technician repair type role to work out what's going on. Um, yep. So what do you want to tackle first? I'll tackle fixing the, our rental explorer. Okay. Well, can you give me a, um, can you give me two repair roles first? Hang on, just get. And I can do the engineering stuff. Just, just give me a second. And we don't even have to go that far. We can just simply belay with that rope. We don't have to have a pulley or anything. Climbing backpacks are going to have carabiners. And I have two gra and I have two grappling hooks with two hundred with one hundred uh, meter lines each. Yeah, but so so one of those backpacks they both ha should have harnesses. And, and carabiners. One person clips into one of the explorers and then runs a rope through their, through their harness to the other person who then goes down. They're acting as the belay. It should be exceptionally low risk to no risk. Is that coming from somebody who hasn't been dropped by their belayer doing climbing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, if the belayer is paying attention and... <laughs> if it's good climbing equipment, then it'll auto-lock, but if it's just basic figure eight carabiners and shit, then your belayer does have to at least have a little bit of competence. Did you get, did you drop far? Uh, no, but it was, it was an overhang and within, it was with enough slack that I swung back in an awkward way and you just, it's just not fun. Uh, no, I didn't hit the floor. But yeah, if if there's slack in there, it's it's very much not fun if you fall. It's better than falling to the ground, but uh, it's still not very fun. So you got to hang there like a pinata and wait for them to pull you up till you could get a grip. Pretty much, yeah, and smashing into the wall a little bit too. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like skydiving and parachuting. 
What, jumping out you, of a plane? Well, no, <laughs> no, you get you get a little banged up. A little banged up. One way of saying it, I suppose. Oh, dear. We all good? Yep. No, it just went silent for a second. I wonder what happened. Okay, so um, so what's uh, sorry, I was off. I was, my brother-in-law poked his head down the door. What do we? What were we talking about? So Cerise is doing his repairs, and then I'm doing the engineering oh, yeah. roll. stuff. He did his repair rolls. All right. Um. Yeah. The, they're the two repair offs. Thank you. Um. Yes. The brake. The brake system was hit with one of the shots, and it looks like the um, the engine got hit with the other one. Looks like your top speed had been knocked back. Um. You didn't notice because you weren't travelling at top speed. Um, but yeah, that's what looks like what have happened. Um, in that regard. Oh, do so you need? Appears... Go ahead. No, no, no. They were, that were the they were the repair rolls. That was that was it. Okay. Um, 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 vehicle combat, vehicle damage, vehicle repairs, crashing. Yeah, you didn't crash. So um, yeah. We so look. Um, it, I mean, it, it's banged up. You probably, yeah. You know, I mean, it, it's taken a bit of paint damage. Um, the rental, the, uh, the rental car company is going to ask questions, probably. Um, so, but apart from that, it looks all right. It works all right. Works is okay. it not pretty obvious that it got hit by a rocket? I imagine that's that it would be. Yeah, twice. Okay. <laughs> got hit twice. I said the rental car company is going to be asking a few questions. Um, so. I mean, is there any yeah. reason why we can't just drive both? Uh, the rental company will be happy if we return them to Explorers. Like, it averages out to one fully undamaged Explorer, right? Is that, is that <laughs> well, it's not, li it's not licensed to them. <laughs> it's not registered in their... You know, we'll worry about the rental car company later, guys. You know uh, I mean? We'll find a chop shop. Anyhow, enough with the jokes about the rental car company. Um, no, I don't mind. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, I think Voke is keen to climb down the uh, cliff. Yeah. And, and I, 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 I'm, yeah. While Cat is not going to climb down there, she's not going to stop it from going on. So go for your life. Babu can act as belay. He's strong enough, and Voke can climb down. All right. Do that. So I need I need a half strength, half dexterity check off you, Voke. They're the same. By the way, not with that roll. Uh, by the way, can you roll me two lots of one d ten for the repairs to see how long they take in hours, please? Five hours total. So it's now getting on towards dusk. By the time you get the, the, the get the explorer repaired, uh, Voke, you. No, I said half. I said half strength. Half it's strength. the same. It's they're both fifty-five. Oh, okay. Um, you, uh, you, uh, no, you, you slip and fall. Uh, Babu, can you give me a strength check, please? Okay, D, you take D ten damage in your in the fall, Voke. Wow, the dice hate Voke. me. They do. Uh, you do make it down to where this guy is. Um, he's, he's, his head's lying at a very odd angle. He's obviously broken his neck, amongst other things. Uh, what he, and um, the, his uh, laser, was it a laser rifle? His laser yes. rifle was, um, hang on, where is it? I've lost it. There it is. Um, no, his, laser rifle's not, his, la his laser rifle's not too far away. Um, um, the vibro knife is lying not too far away. It's connected to his backpack, um, um, which in fact says so the laser rifle, it's both connected to the backpack. Um, I need a technician roll on the backpack. It may have been damaged in the fall. Mm, no, it looks all right, actually. Um, uh, and he has a uh, civilian, skin, the civilian skin suit, and he's obviously he's also got an inertia screen at his, at his waist. Okay. Anything else on him? Anything? No. Does he have a anti shock implant? Scott? No. Not you can see. Hmm. Well, I'll take his stuff and 
We'll strip him nude. Anything special? No, nothing special. Um, if you send down the se if, <laughs> sorry, if you send down the second rope, you could probably um, uh, um, uh, just get someone else to haul it all up for you. Yeah, that's what I'll do. That and we'll just yeah, someone we'll do haul that. It up? Somebody want to haul it up? Uh, I guess that would be a strength check. It would be yeah. a strength check. Jazz or Cat or Doc or two of you together? Yeah, well, I mean, you can try. Um, Jazz is <laughs> good. Wow. Nice one, Jazz. <laughs> is there another sure cliff I can kick him off of? <laughs> Who, the yeah. body or him? The body. Oh, yeah, you further roll it down. The, you can further kick, kick it off, the, off where it landed and... and Push it on further down. Mm, no. We'll hoist the body up. You're going to hoist the body up? I was just thinking about hoisting up the gear. Oh. Oh, yeah, then I'll kick the body. I'll take a picture of his face, and then I'll kick the body. Okay. And the body tumbles another 200 meters or down the cliff before it comes to rest again. So did you want a strength check from Jazz? Jazz is not the strongest guy. Just saying. Well, whoever's hauling whoever's hauling the stuff up needs to make a, a strength check. Not cat. Yeah. <laughs> not cat either. <laughs> well, that's well, the same as Babu. What the hell? Not Jazz. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's a critical fail. Um, the, uh, the, knot, the knot comes loose, um, on the, on the, on the rope and all the stuff tumbles, um, all the way down to, um, four, 500 meters down. Lol. <laughs> this is what happens when you roll critical fails, people. I'm surprised Vogue didn't get hit in the face with a 10 kilogram backpack. Yeah. Actually, Vogue, give me a reaction speed check, please. For that oh, very no. reason. <laughs> Motherfucker. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Vogue, that's a critical fail. Not only not only do you get hit in the face with a 10 kilogram um, backpack and take a corresponding uh, 21 points of damage, which you, which you cannot cannot avoid by suit, the suits. Actually, your suit will your suit will take. It's kinetic, so you, if you've got a skin suit, it'll take half of that. Um, but I also know you may need you to get make me another reaction speed check. Um, uh, sorry, another dex check, please, to make sure you're not knocked off the mountain. Okay. Okay, you are not knocked off the mountain, but you are. Yeah, it's like there you go. Okay. I think your line is, Jazz is not to pull me up the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, apart from a, a broken nose and a bloody face from all the blood from the broken nose, if you had a nose, because you don't, because you're a blob, uh, <laughs> it's easy to recover the lost equipment. Oh, possibly. Um, <laughs> So um, the equipment is now 450 metres or so down the down the face of the cliff. Uh, uh, the cliff. There's a naked body not quite that far down, um, and there's a, a very annoyed and painful Vogue hanging at the end of a rope which Babu's got hold of. You want to let go of the rope, Babu? I don't know. Do you want me to let go of the rope? <laughs> it's up to you what you want to do. But at the end of the end of the rope, there's a certain a certain um, a blob. And doesn't that blob always make fun of you for wearing clothes? Yeah, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah, he does. <laughs> That's okay. How, how, has he started pulling me up yet? No, it's up to, it's up to you to climb, dude. You've got to climb up. Which, again, is half strength, half... half uh, uh, is he coming up, then? I, I don't know. Is he up? coming up, Vogue? You coming up or not? I don't know. Am I being pulled up or not? No, you climb, and then if you fall, he's there on belay. Okay, all right, I'll, I'll climb up, uh, uh, yeah, 55, hopefully. Okay, you managed to climb, you managed to climb all the way up. Uh, oh, no, 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 I only want to go 55 meters, and I use my grappling hook and say, screw you to Babu. 
Okay. <laughs> you better give me a you better give me a, a target number with the bab with the with the grappling gun. I don't know. I'm just aiming it up there. Uh, I guess that'd be what. A, dex, a half a half reaction speed. A half dex. Sorry, you half dex. Standard combat. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, and you miss, and your grappling your grappling hook does not does not uh, catch, and you still say screw you to Babu, do you? No, that comes after it successfully hooks, which uh, it did not. So um, it did not. we just keep climbing. Okay, well you know the roll. This was a bad so idea. It, it, so in your slip and fall, you only take four points of damage. Only take four points of damage. Babu, do you want to strength check him to blame or do you want to let him go? Okay, you uh, Babu does actually belay you properly. Yeah, more proof, exactly. Do you want to try, you know, you want to try climbing again? Can you just hook me up to the car and pull me? Hang on, hang on, and have you have you managed? Have you how much damage have you taken? Well, a fair bit. Now, are you more than half? Because if yes. it's more than half, you have to take. Then you have to start putting on the the heavy heavy wounded penalties, which is minus ten, which is minus ten from memory to everything. And you can just you know like like pull me up the rest of the way, like hook me up to the car. Hello? That'd probably drag you along the side of the cliff, though, no? You don't have to go that fast. <laughs> <laughs> no, Babu, you I are not successful. I don't think I got the strength to pull him up. No, you can belay him, but you can't pull him up. Not like that. So what are you doing, you folk? And everyone else, for that matter. Well, if we uh, if we help help uh, Babu, can we potentially, as a group, pull pull him up a bit, or at least assist him with the climbing by pulling him up? You may, if you all get on the rope together. Yeah, well, Jazz will lend a hand, assuming Volk is willing to let Jazz lend a hand. <laughs> Can't get any worse. We've rolled what one, two. Three critical fails. <laughs> and that's not even a record for us, I think. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not over either. Yeah. Uh, Jazz will try to assist with um, Babu with the rope. Oh, what do you know? You, you, you assist really well. Anyone else assisting? No, just jazz is fine. If they call for my help, I will. Otherwise, I'm busy. I think it depends on how desperate Volk gets. <laughs> All right, Babu, you want to give me another strength check? Yeah, okay. Between the two of you, you managed to get him and him helping himself. You managed to scramble him up up on the cliff. He, As he comes up over the edge, Doc sees that he is particularly heavily wounded, I believe, or at least moderately wounded yeah no i'm down 41 points out of I'm, I'm at 24 out of 65 right it's been a rough I made, day i made all those strength checks did, sorry say but yeah so i, I think i think sheet with my character up you did but yeah, it, you I, weren't the person who dropped the bag of stuff on my head I was going to say Babu's strength has to be way higher than Cat's. Yeah, it's 80. It doesn't I'm, seem I'm right. I'm looking at this. I put yeah, Doc well, where I'm... I normally is, and my, my character sheet's beside it. Yeah. Wait, you have a... Wait, thought... What is that, 45? What? A critical fail is still a critical fail, no matter what your base strength is. Yeah. You know, well, I, never, I never rolled a critical fail myself. Yes, you did. Yeah. Oh, no, you didn't. Anyway. Jazz did. Um... Okay, so so if you if you're gonna do if if, if Doc's gonna perform first aid on Vogue, 
don't forget you've got the, the what is it, 40, uh, 45, 24% penalty or 45 penalty, whatever it is. Whatever damage boats got. What's your damage boat? He's gone offline, hang on. Uh, I don't know, I have to wait for this back. But yes, for your for the record, um, for the record, uh, the commander was wearing a, wearing an, exper an experimental suit. Uh, it was a ski it was a um, a skin suit, uh, but the the, Kev the Kevlar fibers were also sewn with um, with albedo fibers as well. Didn't provide the full the full uh, fifty points of skin and hundred points of albedo, but it did allow both oh interesting mm. experiment as an experimental suit a piece of experimental tech where did this new rule for first aid come from by the way uh, it's been in the system all the time we just haven't been playing it i just can't see it reading the first aid rules right here yeah, no, and we, al we also play first aid kind of wrong uh, it's actually that you can't do first aid within 20 hours of first aid. Um, it's not unless you yeah, but yeah, but unless unless you've been re-injured. Yeah, I guess that mustn't be that must be in rules that we don't have because it's oh, well. not in the page right in front of me. Yeah, well, we'll work it out. It's all good. It's probably on the website. Makes it interesting anyway. What's both, what, what's Brian doing? Damn, uh, we had an issue with the dog and the wife. Oh. He's taking, he's solving it. What, the wife or the dog or both? The dog and side his, of it. His, his wife or your wife? My wife. His mother? Yes. Yeah. Hey, um, James, have you still got house guests or not? What, uh, no, actually. It's just the uh, two kids right now. Although the wife was very upset about the fact we might lose, not be able to get a supply of eggs, so we now have ten chickens. Uh, uh, basically, in the pig room next to a pig now. Watch out for well. If you've got a pig, watch out for swine flu, and if you've got chickens, watch out for chicken flu. Chicken pox. I don't care. When they, when I go, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go. In a, I'm, I'm going to be a flaming blaze of glory. Yeah, yeah that's how I'm going to go. I'm not going to go. I, I've always, I've always said to people, I'm going to grow old, um, grow old disgracefully, <laughs> and, be a pain, and be a pain in the butt the whole way. Ah, you've been doing a great job of that. <laughs> there goes your experience points. <laughs> hey, I um, I got a question. Are are we still while well, we're waiting? Um, are you still posting up the videos on YouTube of the previous sessions? Uh, it's on pause for a little bit, and I'm getting close to re revamping it all. I'm revamping everything. Oh, um, okay. So I'm still collecting them, apart from ones that get deleted accidentally. Oh, speaking of which, did you do that, Ben? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So the new ones that are going up, we got room for them again. Um, so yes, no, I've, I've, I haven't got rid of. I've, I've got, I've still got them. I've just got to put them back up when I get um, when I revamp some stuff. Okay. Yep. No worries. I, I only ask because I'm uh, curious as to what happened last time when I missed the session, and I think the last thing I saw was uh, we were fighting on the train. So that was kind of a exciting quick thing. oh yeah well the train the train crashed the, the, tr the train, train actually came down, off the rails through. and crashed oh no uh, um that and, was um that yeah, was, you'll find out that was the yeah, first yeah. time i almost went off a mountain yes <laughs> <laughs> babu and i were up top on top of the on top of the speeding train whose brakes were not working and we were about to sh take a sharp turn and uh, I failed my check to get in the first check, and I just barely made it with my second check. Yeah, you you almost died. Uh, yep. Almost died. You don't like mountains, do you, Vogue? 
Nope. Um, anyway, so uh, first aid is on Vogue. I believe, but, but how many points are you down, Vogue? So that's what we've been waiting 41. All right, so minus 41 to the first aid check. That, that, that was not a good time. Or well, plus 41 to the first aid check. No, you are not. You are not successful in the, in in, uh -huh. in uh, performing first aid on him. Why is that not successful? Did you put the minus forty one in the plus forty one? Yeah, he he did. Right there, medical first aid plus forty one. Oh, sorry, you did too. I apologise. No, you are successful. You get ten points back. I mean, if you want to take it away from him, you can do that. So you get ten points back. <laughs> uh, are, are you going to perform some type of field surgery on him? Well, I needed it before. I still need it now. What, that minor surgery? Because you got 31 now? Well, 31, yeah. I, it was minor, sur minor surgery will only give him 20 points back. So, do you want start a, with a major then? Look. So, I, I would love surgery, yes. But I would you like I, an assist from Jazz? No. <laughs> I, I would not. <laughs> The last and time you assisted, you put someone in a coma. Modifier this time. Yes, mate, that's correct. I only <laughs> lost a couple of uh, nope. permanent ability points. Yeah, but you were put in a freeze field. You want to try minor surgery? You are allowed to. Yeah, I'll try that. Again, this, minus 31. This new penalty is brutal. We're never going to be able to do surgery with people that are Oh, yeah, really, yeah, yeah really... you are. You've yeah, got to do are. something yeah, to yeah. kill us off. We're like roaches. We never die. Exactly. Uh, so it's 20 points back, Voc. Uh, don't forget to knock off the relevant bio court and, 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 and two anesthetics and all the rest of the bits and pieces that you need to buy. I feel off. a lot better now. Jazz, you're driving in the other, you're riding in the other Explorer. You're not driving in, you're not riding with me. Okay, so it's, it's, it's getting, it's about 5, 5, 5.30 in the evening, evening, equivalency. You've now got two repaired Explorers, although one of them's got some paint damage. Um, what do you want, who's getting in which Explorer and who's driving what? I'm driving the second, following behind Sari. I'll drive the well, rental. That's going to be interesting. We, you, you can't get the first one past the second one. I told no, you I'm driving whichever one's in the back. Do you want the you rental that's first. repaired? Uh, well, the rental's the one in front. No, no the, the rental's, one rental's in the, the one in the back. Oh, well, I'll, I'll take the, the rental. Yeah. Okay. okay. Then I'll go in front, and Jazz can come with me, and one other person. I'm not hearing any volunteers. <laughs> or not. The four of you can go in the back. Uh, with the worst I'll driver. In the one and the damaged vehicle. The hey, what Do was we that? Want to take... Doc, Sorry, Hang on. we'll go with Jazz, and Babu will ride the other one. With Cat and... Well, invoke, right? right? Is that right? Wait a minute. That, that, breaks <laughs> Wait our, minute. That, that breaks our prime directive of putting both medics in the same vehicle. It does. Uh, then switch, switch that then, and we won't have both Rallocytes in the same vehicle. All right, so it's, so it's Babu and Cerise and Doc in the, in the enemy explorer in front, and Voke... Cat and Jazz in the rental behind uh, in, com uh, in coming seconds. Is that right? Better yep. have your seatbelt on, Jazz. You might be ex experience a few brake checks. That's an interesting question, Jazz. Uh, the rocket launcher is already on. The front. no, it's not mounted. It's not mounted. It's it's a, it's a shoulder launch. And there's no mount. Uh, yeah, the laser rifle uh, you dropped on my face, and it went down the mount. Yeah, Jazz wasn't the only one who was lugging up the uh, the equipment, right? Uh, so yeah. there is a one. note that I wrote up, guys. Yeah. So that should have everything in it. 
Oh, but okay. did you want the auto rifle or? Did no, you you're a better it? shot than me. All right, I'll take it. And I'm I'm better. Uh, well, I might be better in melee than you. Take all eleven clips, cat. Yeah, will do. Uh, now you don't have the commander's inertia screen. It fell down the cliff. Yeah. Oh, now you got a climbing kit. Yeah, you have the climbing, climbing kits. Kit. Those were in the. Actually, yep. we we don't ha we have we yeah, lost no, one rope. We no, you rope? didn't lose one rope. No, the knot came came loose. Oh, the knot came loose. Okay. In banging it around in the cliff plate, so you've got the ropes, you just don't have the equipment, and the radio phones are actually mounted in the in the Explorer. It's it, it's a it's a vehicle mount. Not a, you, I don't think you'd be able to take it anywhere, and, and unless you dismount and dis disconnect it from the from the Explorer's main power power bus. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and who wants frag? We got grenades. We got to distribute grenades. I figured I'd take two. Everybody else except for Doc take one. What one, okay. one, one what frag? Frag grenade. Yeah, what about the others? Uh, I, have I have tanglers others. and I have doze grenades and I have smoke grenades. Okay. All right. So are you setting off to, to tonight towards the towards the base, the base, the um, sanatorium? Yeah, I think we need to rate. So I think we need to rate it tonight, guys. I think this is enough evidence that we need to take direct action and not just go to surveillance, right? Mm -hmm. Should we? Well, I don't think we should call for anyone or try to even no, call. No, don't for... call for anyone. We do it ourselves. Yeah, because because all the because all the well, a lot of Rick executives probably have the chips in their head. Yeah, we can't trust anybody else at this point. The radio okay. phone. Yeah, so somebody should probably man the the radio phone in the in the explorer. Sure. Yeah. I mean, how 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 far off are we? Because uh, I'm I'm just thinking of the the plan that we could enact of hiding our hired explorer and just taking in the enemy one and getting an element of surprise if we drive both up it's going to be pretty obvious uh I, I, do we still have time to make that decision later i don't know how yeah, you're, still, you're still you're still about you're still about five six hours away from where you what where you're planning on 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 stopping got it yeah cool yep sweet quick question cat do you have a helmet uh yeah how many helmet. project slots do you have open on your body comp uh, that's a good question. And what Why? body and what things do you have? Because uh, I can give you some of my projects, so you can uh, knock off two range increments. Since you got the rifle. Oh, I already have, I already have a comp sight three. I just this rifle wouldn't have the attachment, so I don't think we could use that anyway. Don't all right? Because no, the, the, it's a special attachment that goes on the weapon. Oh, uh, it is okay. Uh, it's like a gyroscopic uh, attachment that gets that goes onto the weapon. I'm guessing though that I probably would have put that on my auto pistol. So, and you probably have one on your auto pistol. Yeah. Um. So we could probably switch your rear there. But yeah, you could, It's not just on any weapon that you pick up. It has to be. No, well, I just that. didn't. I also didn't know if you wanted mine because I didn't know if you had yours yet. If you got yours. No, I do. I do. Because okay. it is handy. Yeah, it's 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 actually it's actually a type of optical sight that puts a crosshairs on the on the visor, or a cyber eye if you happen to have a cyber eye, uh, puts a crosshairs in your line of sight where the where where the weapon is pointing. Um, the weapons are interchangeable, but. Um, so if you've got the sight on a laser pistol and a gyrojet rifle, you can swap them out, and they'll work with the system perfectly fine. But each weapon needs that. Each weapon needs that attachment. Okay. Or built in to that. To, built into that 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 particular weapon, as the case may be. 
but it counts as a it counts as a, a either an under barrel or an over barrel attachment to the weapon. Oh, okay. So if you've got a if you've got a um, an M16 with a M79 grenade launcher, there's there's the under barrel taken up with a grenade launcher. It'd have to go on top as a scope type sight. So anyway, all good. That's about it. All right, so what's the general plan, people? We, you're driving to your agreed drop-off point and then doing something, or, or what's the story? If you guys want to look, uh, uh, let's look for a place to stash the other Explorer on the way. Yeah. Um, the rental. But the closer it is to the, you know, the better it is. I'd rather leave it at the, at the, one point and then drive in yeah agreed I, I i wasn't thinking that we would leave it here unless it was right around the corner uh, so yeah that point that we determined was just out of sight of the sanatorium that's where we'll leave it yeah that sounds like a good idea okay and also who's riding shotgun with me was it that jazz yeah, I, th I think so. Um, I would say that we probably, I don't know what sec security we need to worry about, but we need to worry about security. What, on the Explorer when you leave it? Is that what you're talking about? No, no, as we're approaching the facility. Well, it depends um, how you're going to, well, depends how you're going to approach it. You, you, mean, pro you mean approach it, uh, okay, there's two phases to this. There's approaching it before the drop-off point and then approaching it after the drop-off point. Okay. Right, so and approaching gonna, it to the drop-off point, my mm -hmm. concern is, and I don't know, maybe Jazz would know this more than me, but you know, I I did have to do some security stuff in my background. Is w would there be? I mean, I guess there could be remote cameras. Um, so as we drive up, we want to look for remote cameras, maybe infrared sensors, you know, uh, I beams, or you know, whatever you want to call those. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know in a dirt road if you would put any type of electromagnetic sensors that probably not no I couldn't see it could you really um, would IR goggles give off uh, would they detect um, infrared eyes yeah you know, the beams? yeah IR goggles, goggles IR goggles will certainly will certainly spot an infrared uh, beam, for example, across the across the uh, across the road or whatever, um, they wouldn't detect an infrared camera necessarily, because infrared cameras are a passive device. There's, they they just take the infrared in, but an infrared beam is an active device. It's shooting an infrared beam across whatever, and so I, certainly an IR goggles will, will certainly pick that up. Same I as UV. If you're talking UV goggles and a UV beam, but UV is not as good because um, um, UV um, only work well. Yeah. Anyway, I think Jazz, you have a full combi goggles that you can do IR and UV, so you can scan yep. for both. Yep. Um, Jazz can keep an eye out. Okay. I'm just trying to. Sorry. Just give me a second. IR, magnifying, starlight, sunglasses, UV.
these explorers usually have a hatch on top, right? Yeah. If we want, we can have someone uh, with the rocket launcher. Atmosphere. Yeah, everybody has to have breathing gear on if you do oh, that. Oh, right, right. It's a pain in the ass. But, I mean, there's nothing stopping us from that. We've got, we've all got breathing gear and we've got tanks that are like eight hours or something. Ten. 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 So I think the explorers also have oxygen plugins. Uh, maybe? Well, I mean, if, there's, Sorry, if these are going to be pressurized and have oxygen, they probably have ports for plugging into. Uh, what, the the vehicles? The yeah. oxygen the tanks, if they're refillable. Oxygen. Um, no, they, I mean, they've got, they, 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 once they're sealed, they've got their own oxygen supplies, but there's no way of recharging the oxygen tanks. Um, that... That's an optional extra that doesn't include doesn't happen in the, in this vehicle, um, so no, you can't recharge your you can't recharge your personal stuff from here, in here. No, not Are recharge, we... but I was saying like plug in your suit to it, so you're no. drawing. Okay. No, sorry, no. No, that's an optional extra that wasn't included in these particular models. Shall we doesn't say? Doesn't have the emergency okay. mask that dropped from the ceiling. Sadness. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh so um so you're so uh you you're traveling uh you you're still doing you you're traveling to the to the to the um point a drop off point point a um what are you doing from there uh I believe so nothing happens that. when we get to the drop off point um no, no, nothing happens more or less. Um, you're just short of the drop-off point, though, um, when there's a bit of static on on the radios in both in uh, in both explorers. Well, actually, on on every radio, on every radio that you have um, active, there's a little bit of static. Uh, see if somebody can get bring in a signal. Who's doing that? I probably cat, otherwise I'll have to stop and do it, right? Probably. Is that a technician thing, or is that a computer's thing, or is that a physicist thing? That's a, that's a I want to do it thing. Okay. That's probably I logic, I think. Yeah. That's I'll not, do that. It's not even a role. Just tell me you want to do it. Uh, yeah. So you, uh, you, uh, you, you, you quickly tune... Oops. You quickly tune uh, tune the radio in, and the message on the radio is as uh, where is I've lost it. Why do I lose it? Is that it? That's it. That's what comes through on the radio. Hmm. Well, I'm of the. Uh... Hi, uh, well, Gartic is uh, 500 meters off a cliff. 500 meters. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He can't come to the radio. He's feeling low. Yeah, just are leave it be that, so are we you know. you saying it over the radio? No, you're not saying no. it over no. the radio. Okay. Oh. Well, I've got to, you know, got to ask. Yeah, All right. just let it be. And we'll just keep listening to that frequency. All right, um, that's repeated three more times over the space of about a five to ten minute period, and then it then it shuts off. Then it no longer comes through. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, so you get to the you get, you get to the point where you reckon that, that that the sanitarium can't see can't see you anymore. All right. Um, and how far away do we think that is? Uh, it's about, you reckon it's about two kilometers by road. All right. Um, I'm just trying to prepare something for you guys. Um, okay. So just give me a second. Well, Matt works that out. So here's I we've got two plans, right? We can go in on foot, or we can go in by um, the ex, by the other team's explorer. That's 
That'll get us to the front door. But since we haven't answered the radio call, they're probably going to at least be on moderate alert. If we go in by foot, we might be able to completely surprise them. Yeah. I mean, that's reasonable now. So, yeah, I think go in completely on, on foot. foot. Yeah. Look for motion alarms like the ones we saw at um the outpost on the mining world. Again, with an A. Mm -hmm. Alcaraz? Alcazar. 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 Yeah. So, and we can, you know, we'll we'll surveil the place in IR, UV, starlight. Yeah. Um. And, and approach on foot. Maybe there, maybe there's a back door. Service entry? I don't know. I'm worried this place is going to have a lot of security, so. Well, they seem to be getting a healthy supply of military supplies shipped their way, so yes. I mean, they're, they're, their sort of outriding party had a rocket launcher on them, so their base is probably going to be even worse. Yeah. That's why that's why we have to sneak in, I think. If they know yeah. we're coming, we're going to be outgunned. And uh I like we we had a chance there to ass our way onto the communications and pretend like the commander hadn't died, but uh knowing how we go with those kind of of things uh we yeah, that would not have well. That, well. <laughs> that would not have gone yeah. well. Possibly not. <laughs> Am I on mute? No. No. No, we're just ignoring you. That's all right. Um... I feel like Vogue's gonna have to use his grappling hook to go up the the garbage chute. <laughs> it's 25 okay. meters and everything let's see if we can find a get garbage chute i'm all for that so 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 so, so when you actually first get i mean get sight of the the senatorium the main road as you can see uh from the lower map um circles from, it, it comes in it loops in off the map in a u-shape and you actually come in from you actually come in that direction um along the main road all right obviously the secondary road, which actually leads up to the Senatorium Plateau itself, is um, also you come in from you know, that direction. Um, the senator that, that that road, that's that Senatorium Road, that one, um, is about um, 200 metres below the cliff edge. So at that at that point where I've indicated, um, and then obviously climbs that last 200 metres in the road up onto the platform. Um, the the top in the top view uh, that's what a, that's a side that's a, a, a looking at a side view so um, you know it's twenty that, that, that you can spot uh, what appears to be a refuge chute about twenty five meters below the cliff edge there's buildings along the cliff edge there's a dome hanging out half over the cliff edge and there's a number of glass domes um, in in a hexagonal shape um, below the below the main dome. Um, which appear to be observation domes or basically windows, effectively. Um, but full story, yeah, like full full length, full story windows. Okay. But what what you're saying there is that there's no way to sneak up on them without climbing. That's what I'm hearing. Well, well if you either you either climb you either climb up the cliff or you go up the road. But I was I thought you were joking about the garbage chute. <laughs> <laughs> and now I see there's one there, so I'd say we go for the refuse chute. <laughs> Right. I mean, the front door has got to have high security around it, right? That's where everybody's going to go. Yeah. But I mean, so as we approach, we're trying to observe again, we're going slow, using all the spectrum to look for cameras. We've got magna goggles so we can zoom in. Um, all right. Well, I'll, well, you better give me spot checks, please, guys. 
and you'll be get, by the time by the time you get there, it's, it's, it's you, it was about, it was about midnight when you got to the give or take to the to the Watsi spot. Um, the two kilometre hike up the road's taken another hour, hour and a half because uh, you're going relatively slow because you're looking for things. Um, you don't spot any active infrared or ultraviolet sensors. Um, if there are cameras, uh, passive cameras or something like that on the road, you wouldn't have, you haven't spotted those either. Okay. Okay, I assume they're there, but <laughs> yeah. Um, so you, uh, I mean, there are, if now when you get when you get to that point on the map, assuming you're getting to that point in the map where I've marked on the on the with the purple arrow, um, that is, you are 200 meters below the cliff edge. Um, obviously, that's 175 metres to the garbage chute, which you can just make out in the dark. Um, it's not an entirely dark night. The moon, the moons are up, so you've got a little bit of uh, moonlight and that around. Um, and there appear to be appear to be plenty of hand and footholds um, in the cliff up to the cliff edge from where you are. The cliff's only about at a 70 degree angle. This one. Um, well, yeah, let's use the uh, climbing gear and, and go up. Let's be as safe as we can. Ideally, if we get to the refri refuse chute around 3.30 or 4 a.m., I think we're good. Okay. Just give me a sec. Anybody disagree? Want a different no, plan? That, that sounds good. fine to me. Sounds good. I mean, as good as it gets when it comes to climbing up a trash chute. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to think of some wisecrack to say something like, oh, refuse, shoot, trash, shoot, something about Volk being in his element, but it wasn't really coming to me. <laughs> it's funny because I didn't see the map. I didn't see that on the map when you said that. And I'm like, oh, well, okay, yeah, I guess there might be a refuse shoot. <laughs> be convenient if there was one. Unfortunately, this means that we are leaving the rocket launcher behind, but I think that's okay. Well, it's you can strap it over your shoulder back. Doesn't it weigh like pretty, yeah, it's tens pretty, of too kilos? Heavy. They're called heavy weapons for a reason. Yeah, but I I would be surprised if Voke or Babu couldn't carry it. given that we don't have all our other regular gear. How much does the rocket launcher weigh? Because, I mean, I'm not carrying all my excessive amount of stuff. Uh, let me see. Try to look up. I'm going to take one of those uh, doze grenades too, guys. I don't know if anybody else wants anything else. And restock a tangler. Uh, rocket launcher is 15. Fifteen? Uh, let me see if I can make space for that. Matt should really t turn off HSTS if uh, this SSL is going to keep dying. Because it's not the SSL problem that's annoying. It's that it's pinned to using TLS, which means you can't possibly not use it. What a pain. Yeah. Um, I didn't realize that Firefox stops you from even like ignoring the security exception when it's pinned like that. I guess that's kind of good. Because people will just click through it and say YOLO. Um, but... Hmm. Annoying. I am not able to make uh, edits directly to the Explorer ambush. Note. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, you can. The hamst Only I Sorry, can. The hamster's just arrived. The hamster on steroids just arrived. And he's going nuts. Oh, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> yes, yes, I love you too. 
You should see him. He's quite big now. You'd like him. He, I, if, I, um, if I had a... Uh, if I could turn the camera on, I'd show you, but you've got nothing to link up to. But yes, yeah, so don't... No, get on my bed. Get off my bed. <laughs> yeah, he's doubling the size. Anyway, I'll be back in a sec. Anybody um, want me to make edits? I'm the Since I own yeah. it, I'm the only one who can. So so Jazz will swap out his power backpack for one of the full power backpacks on the list. Were there power um, backpacks? There were two power backpacks and two climbing backpacks, climbing kit backpacks. Uh, no, I think there were just two climbing kits. They weren't power backpacks. Uh, I thought he said two power backpacks and then two nylon backpacks. Later on, he said two nylon backpacks. And we're like, well, what's in the nylon backpacks? And he's like, oh, it's a climbing kit. Okay. Yeah, well, there's two climbing kits. Thought... All right. If not, then that's fine. Um, then the other thing is the skin suits. There's two of them. This is 34. Does that mean there's 34 points left on those? Two? Yes. All right. So Jazz will take one of those and leave behind a skin suit with 20 left behind. Uh, keep the 20 on your inventory and just take the 34. All right, fair enough. Yeah, I can carry that rocket launcher. I don't think my updates show till I update it, right? Till you lock it. Make sure you have all the power clips you could use. Yes. Um, yeah, actually, take a few more. Um, Jazz will take, say, five more clips. I think it's Jazz is running up against his weight max. Yeah, especially once you start taking tech kits and all that kind of stuff, you're pretty... Yeah, I'm leaving. That's yeah. I can carry the rocket launcher because I'm leaving my engineer kit, my engineer kit, in the sport. Ah, oh, so you don't take your tech kit either. So if we. No, oh no, I share a tech kit with Cerise actually. Actually, oh, no, I do have okay. a tech kit. I think somewhere. We'll need. We might need the tech kit for locks or. If the thing has a I'm... nuclear power plan and they've set it to blow up. So you want my engineer kit then? I'd rather have the rocket launcher. Because it has, it, it has, it does have the, it does well, have. leave the, yeah. I don't know, leave the welder behind. Sorry, guys. Oh, we'll find, there. we'll find more rocket launchers. Yeah. That was my sister's family, um, you know, coming around, dropping around for for the Easter celebration, not celebration, but, you know, um, saying hello and things like that. So, no um. Right. Um, one thing we should one thing I should have done before before we got to this point, in terms of uh, what we're doing, um, is if you guys are hiking in, I need you to um, go through the character sheets and make sure you specify on your sheets what you are carrying. Yeah, so that's what we're kind of working on. Yeah, I figured that was what you were doing, but I, I'm just formalizing that. If you could add five more power clips to uh, to the on the thing. Yeah, well, don't forget power clips weigh. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you, I want you, 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 you don't want your, um, I don't want you guys going overboard in terms of how much you're carrying, of course. Uh, I think that's too late for Babu. <laughs> I don't know what's Babu carrying. Everything? Basically, well, no, he's, he's left a lot of stuff. He didn't yeah. bring the bucket or the chain and whip. Yeah, probably got to do. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so you guys can. Uh, I didn't can bring my uh, steam bath perfume either. Damn. God, that's a first. <laughs> anyway, so um, so it looks like this this it looks like this complex based on uh, what you can see uh, through the binoculars. It's three or four stories levels. Better way of saying it. Um, depending on depending on exactly how things break down, um, and through that dome, it's hard it's hard to make out, but you can make out some trees inside that dome. Okay. So 
I hope that makes sense to everybody. Yep. Right. I'm just going to make a, I, I've, I've unequipped a lot of the, like my go pack, which has stuff that I wouldn't have on me right now. I'm just going to make a duplicate inventory spot for the stuff that I'm carrying right now. And I'll delete it once we get back to our real gear. Yep. Uh, cool. Cause otherwise it's going to be a massive pain in the ass. Yeah, now as long as you know what you're doing, as long as you know what you're doing, and as long as it's, as long as we, you know, it's, it's obvious. I don't want you guys, guys, all of a sudden going, oh, I did actually bring my blank, you know, now that we need it, you know. Oh, no, I, I did actually that. bring my I win button. Your I win button. Yes, I'm afraid no. Well, you should know that uh, <laughs> we, we will probably come up against a nuclear reactor because folks bringing a rocket launcher instead of his engineering kit. Uh, so just plan that in accordingly. You want the rocket launcher. Oh, how much does each extra rocket weigh? You, you gotta tell me these things. Um, that's a damn good question. Um, what's the rocket launcher itself weigh? Is it, is it 15. 15. 15 kilos? Yeah. Well, that would, in, well, that would include a it. rocket. I think, they're, I think the rockets are about 10 kilos a shot. I can look it up. Yep. Well, uh, I can look it up. Give me a sec. No, you may not. I don't know if the website's actually working at the moment properly. Apparently, some of the people have had problems getting into it. Oh, it works fine if you're using Internet Explorer. <laughs> well, that, says, that, says more about, that says more about Internet Explorer than anything else. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a rocket. Um, yeah, a rocket uh, weighs four kilos. There you go. I didn't use my brain before. Um, with uh, with comp site two and comp site one, there is no reason to take the auto rifle because my pistol doesn't have any range penalties anyway. Um, oh, cool! The only thing it changes yeah. is the max range, but that's yeah. that's so far out that it probably doesn't matter. So I guess. Do you evoke? Do you have comp site one and two? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, best best on a rifle than a pistol. It does help though. Why? Why? why do, yeah. So it's just it, it. All that you're choosing a rifle for is maximum range at that point. There's no other difference other than melee, yeah. which the, we're probably going to get meleeed. Okay, cool. Is that your is is that your puppy pieing with a squeeze toy? Yeah, it is. And could you add um three auto pistol clips to Vogue? Yeah, give me a second. Auto pistol. Yeah, there you go. All right, so it's it's, it's sometime it's sometime after two in the morning, when you when you reach that point. On the on the uh, on the access road below the the refuse chute. What do you want to do? Do you want to climb the refuse chute, or you go up the road? No, we're climbing the refuse chute. Okay. Uh, you can't see any security devices on the rescue chute at all. Uh, So who's uh, who's going first up that chute? I'm assuming you're all roping yourself together. Is that what you're doing? Uh, probably. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and using the climbing gear, so we have mm -hmm. safe points or whatever they're called. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a uh, vote can carry the rocket launcher in one rocket. I can carry an extra rocket. How much do they weigh? Four. Four. Didn't you, didn't you say somebody? Yep. Four. Work out where the hell the oh that's where it comes out right good I'm all mapped I'm all mapped up 
Um, all right. Well, um, you need to make me a uh, each person climbing one at a time who, from first to last. Who's going first? Who's going last? You work that out amongst yourselves. Um, but I need you to each of you to make me a um, in that order a um, dexterity check, please. So what happens if you miss? So do, will, should the best you, climber go first or last? The next, the next person in line will have to make um, a um, strength check to hold you. <laughs> um, Jazz will go first. <laughs> That's okay. I've got a sixty-nine, so but I don't have a good strength. All right, oh, Jazz, if you're going for if you're going first, Jazz, then you better give me a dexterity check, please. Who's right. coming second before you make that check? Before oh, you make sorry. that check. I already rolled it. That's all right. Who's going second? I'll go second. All right, who's going third? Are you gonna have Babu? Yeah, somebody strong to go third. Guys? Babu's probably last, is it? Yeah. Doc could probably go third. All right, so make me that dex check, please. Um um, Therese? Oh. <laughs> Talk about cutting it fine. All right, who's going? F and before you roll, before anyone does any rolling, somebody, I need just slow down, please, guys. Who's going fourth? I'll go fourth. Right. Who's going fifth? Uh, Captain I will. I'll be. Right. You, can you please make me your dex check, Cat? Ball. All right, Cat, you are not successful, Cat. So yeah. I need How this game work. I need Doc to make a strength <laughs> check, please. And you may add plus forty to the roll because of the equipment you're using. When you say add plus forty, yeah, a forty, a forty a plus forty benefit. So negative forty. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay, true. and I can carry two spare rockets. Okay, Doc manages to uh, stay on the mountain and hang on to Cat. Cat, do you want to give me another roll? Please, another dex check, please, Cat. That's better. Cat catches herself and continues on. Uh, and finally, uh, Voke, your dex check, please. I'm good. Excellent. And finally, yours, Babu. Okay, Babu, you're not... S what was that for? Oh, I got you, Babs. Yeah, you have. Okay, Babs, another de another dex check, please, to get up to the shoot. No, you slip again. Damn it. Uh... There's a minus 40 to that, don't forget, Vogue. Oh, no, then I, I make that. Okay. And your third, and your, your dex check again, Babu? <laughs> nope. Vogue? Ain't gonna happen. I got you, Babs. <laughs> Babs? You just gotta make it. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I make it again because the 40, but... Babu? Oh, my God. I'm getting better. You're playing with fire. There you go. So after hey. much hassle, much hassle and much strength checking and not much holding on for dear life by, by, by Vogue, you managed to make your way to the mouth of the uh, refuse chute where you're all basically hanging around. Okay, um, it's going to take a reaction speed check to swing yourselves into the refuse chute, okay? Um, uh, and, uh, and then you're going to have to, uh, uh, obviously, you climbing up the refuse chute, you can brace yourself on either side, so it shouldn't be too hard to climb up. So uh, who's going first in the refuse chute? Don't forget you're still roped together to everybody's roped together, don't forget. Well, unless we're going to change the rope, we're in the same order, right? 
Okay. Well, in that and case, Jazz, are you your... first going into the dangerous zone? Yeah, huh. sure. You want the grappling wow. hook? Will the grappling hook help you? I don't know how. Shoot it into the chute. Yeah. yeah, and then the person at the t if there's anyone at the top, they're and... going to hear it, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, if you want to, if you want to alert the entire place, go if you like. It doesn't bother me. Yeah, that thing would be really loud, and not a good idea. Kind of like a rocket so, launcher. Oh. Can can Jazz flip on his albedo screen before proceeding? Sure. Yeah, everybody should turn on their screens. If you didn't already have your inertia screens on or whatever. Yep. All right. Yeah, Jazz will go first. Um, reaction speed check to swing yourself in. Reaction speed. Okay. You made you managed to make yourself make your way into the into the shoot and start climbing. Who's next? That would be Cerise. Uh, Dex check to see if you can catch it. And you may make a reaction speed check. Another, re you may try again. And reaction speed and a, a dexterity check to see if you catch yourself. And you may try again. And reaction speed check, <laughs> a dex check to see if you catch yourself. No. All right. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Uh, Jazz, I need you to make me a straight strength check, please, as you as you feel a tug on the rope that tries to pull you back out the chute. Okay. This is going to be... At the same uh... time... No, you, okay, you managed to hold it. At the same time, I need the third person in line, who was... Doc. Doc, to make me a, make me a strength check at plus 40. This is going to be one wild ride. Okay, you don't manage to hold on. No, that uh, he added the forty wrong, so it should be oh, eighty. He, yeah, he, he added did. plus forty, not. You minus should 40. have just made it. Yeah, you should have done that. That's okay. In that case, you're fine. Okay, um, so you you give me a give me a um a dex check to pull yourself back onto the mountain properly, please. Cerise. No, you're not successful. Can I get strength checks off again? Jazz and. Doc. Okay, you both managed to, managed to hold on properly. Cerise, you want to give me another re reaction speed check to get yourself back? Okay, so you're back on the mountain. Now, uh, sorry, Dexter, that's right. So reaction speed check to get into the get into the tube. It's not easy. It's a tough tube to get into. And again, you're unsuccessful. So a dex check to see if you catch yourself. Yes, you managed to catch yourself. You can try again. Okay, you finally make it into the tube and start climbing. Doc. Hold up, hold up. Reaction speed to get into the, the reaction speed to get into the tube. I call on the comms, hold up. Can we have uh Jazz and Sari switch ropes up top? When they finally get up top. Well, they're in the chute, right? You're both in the chute, but they're not up top okay. yet. Never mind. So, Doc, you make your way in. Who's next? That was... Now it's Cat. Cat, wasn't it? Cat, you're fourth, weren't you? Reaction speed to get into the chute, please. Almost a critical fail. Um, I need Doc to make a strength. He has to make Dex first. That's right. Dex, now you've caught yourself. That's fine. You've caught yourself. You can try again. Uh, again, you don't make it, so Dexter to catch yourself again, and you've caught yourself again. Reaction speed to get into the tube, and you're in the tube. Uh, and then Voke, you were next, weren't you? Yep. Uh, you, yep. Uh, you managed to caught yourself. Uh, no, you managed to catch it. Oh. Okay, Cat, I need your straight strength check. Please, to hold on. 
Yes, and I need a strength check at the plus 40 from Babu, please. Okay, so yes, you both managed to catch on. Um, so evoke a dexterity check to get yourself back on the mountain. And you're back on the mountain. Reaction speed to get into the tube. And you're in the tube. Finally, Babu, reaction speed to get into the tube. Uh, you're not successful. Dexterity check to catch yourself. You've caught yourself. You can have another go at the reaction speed if you like to get into the tube. You're not successful getting into the tube. The dexterity check to catch yourself. Yeah, you managed to catch yourself where well and truly. Reaction speed to get into the tube. And you're in the tube. Right. So you're all in the tube. So um, Babu's basically at the bottom of the tube, um, more or less. Um, and the rest of you are spread out up the tube uh, with uh, Jazz very close to the top. Jazz, are you back? No, no. That was a lot of days. And well, back it's a lot of, it's a lot, of, lot of skills. Um, so you're you're practically at the top of the tube. Uh, uh, Babu's just inside the at the bottom, and everyone else is spread out amongst the twenty, the 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 the, the, the distance in between. You reckon you've gone only about ten meters um, or so, maybe a little bit more. Um, you're very you're pretty well bunched up, each one. Effectively, at the, at the, everybody's head at the, at the feet of the next of the next person up, type thing. As you're at the top, just as you're you're about the top, that somebody opens up the top of the tube, top of the refuse tube, and dumps a whole oh bunch no. of refuse on you. All right, it's a whole bunch of rotting, veg a whole bunch of vegetables and 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 um, garbage and things like that. Refuse. Um, it's not fecal matter, thank God, um, but it's it's kitchen waste and things like that. Um, I need you, uh, Jazz, to make me a reaction speed check as you get dumped on. Okay, you managed to avoid it as it comes down, uh, which is good. Uh, Cerise, reaction speed check to avoid it. Uh, you managed to avoid it. Uh, Doc, reaction speed check to avoid it. You managed to avoid it. Cat? No, cat, you cop it. <laughs> Someone had to. Um, yep. Yeah, okay. Um, and uncharacteristically and quiet after getting hit by trash. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, cat, uh, Voke, I need you to give me a reaction speed check too, please. Oh no. What's it supposed to be like this? Uh, you get. Uh, you get. You, you. What? What doesn't hit cat hits you. And finally, Babu. <laughs> and Babu, what doesn't hit Cat or Voke, hits you. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's what happens. That's you know, what I get because I said I don't have my perfume with me. That's right. It's just like a steam bath. Now, uh, when you climb out the top, and we need to do the, and and, and basically one person is going to climb out per per turn okay um but that's what you see um if you have a look should uh, we stop here for the night then um well we've still got some well, um, uh, we've been going for four hours we can stop here if you like or we can continue on it's up to you guys uh but what you but it looks like it's a power it's looked like it's a maintenance room um jazz is what you see um there's a power generator. Actually, there's two power generators. One's on and the other one's not. Uh, there's refuse disposal facilities. Funny that. Uh, there also appears to be life support equipment. Um, there's also uh, there's a maintenance robot in the room. Uh, he's the one who threw the garbage down on top of you. Um, um, and as it sees you, it goes to th it, 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 it obviously thinks you're, you're um, rubbish because you're coming out of the rubbish tube. So it's going to try and throw you back down the rubbish tube. Now, do we want to continue nice. on, or do we want to leave it there for the night? Guys, what do you want to do? Do you want 
you want to leave it there for, or do you want to continue on? Um, it's, be honest. It's like, I mean, we've been going for four hours. It, it is our normal. I'm having time, a hard time staying awake. Okay, so we'll we'll call it there for the night. Then that's the case. If that's unless anyone's got any major discussion. Oh, I'm, by the I'm way, enjoying it, but yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way, just just so just to give you, there's the scale. By the way, um, just so you know. Okay. I um, didn't get that map, so I think. Didn't you? Should have gone. There you go. That one. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Um, so there you go. That's that map. Um, you guys, uh, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it there for the night. Um, thank you for playing, everyone. Thanks for watching. If you want to roll those credits, that would be fantastic. And we'll see everybody in two weeks' time, yeah? Well, that's it for this session. We hope you've enjoyed the game as much as we did. We'd like to thank Smiteworks, Sirenscape, and Twitch. And of course, all the fantastic people involved with the Star Frontiers RPG over the years. I'm Dulux Oz, and on behalf of the entire gaming group, we'd like to say thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Until then, may your God go with you. <laughs>